or Purity Chamber right next to Imperium here. So it's going to be a real interesting start for some of these players here. It looks like Frostbits and Spider immediately rushing towards the outer section here. Frostbits is able to find at least a de decent gold stack here, but it's going to be a decent start here. Spider is going to start immediately onto Frostbits, barely giving him any time to recoup or recover as he does get caught inside of the tree here, but it's not going to be enough as Frosty gets eliminated immediately from the Wrath of Spider. Spider coming through. He really wants to have a really strong start to this week. You know, he was absolutely struggling going into our weekly finals here. And obviously, weekly still the same thing. was really struggling and trying to recover. But sadly, with his gameplay and his mental, he really wasn't able to succeed. As we look at OUG's mic, dangerously low here. Oh, Wufong was able to find him. Nice elimination with the longsword here. Beautiful timing. Surprised that OUG Mike wasn't really prepared for him to really come through and try to get aggressive with that strike here. But sadly, both of our top players that we're usually used to seeing going crazy, um, you know, uh, not both, actually, I apologize. Uh, Mike having a really rough start. Meanwhile, Spider, on the other hand, at least is able to get uh, his first elimination on the board here and at least starts to get some action. Meanwhile, Fat Milk trying to see if he can capture something here as AIS. He's going to get a little bit of some impact here. Nice hits coming through from the blue focus with the long sword. Nice slam coming through from, from that character as well here. Oh, he's actually able to do it while falling down here as he does have those hand, hand blades as well. Trying to see if maybe he can get out, but he's going to get stuck here in between him. And it looks like WBG Spider decides he wants to join in on the match as well. And AIS. Oh, no. Might actually get it stolen by Wolfong. No! Spider comes around out of nowhere. Snags the elimination and steals it away from him here. here. And now AIS down on the chopping block. Dangerously low. And now he gets eliminated, but it's coming in from Unique. As Spider was going to try to see if maybe he could do it last minute, but was unable to. But he ends up catching elimination towards this with a beautiful last second strike to be able to get away here. And just like that, Spider's up too. Yeah, just Fung is going to get himself eliminated into the storm here as it looks like he is just going to take his soul to an altar for a revive here as we do see Spider picking up his second elimination. Very good job at coming in and stealing the kill right under the other player's nose at the last second here as we're taking a look. EWG Zorano, Hottie Ultimate invested on a TE star. Alt available for the Matari here, but it's going to be a little too late before he comes away with the elimination. Arano coming through with his first elimination on the game onto TE Star, full kitted out here. Purple ranged weapon, purple melee weapon, and purple armor as DRG's Funk. Looks like he's doing a little bit of the coin hunting. He's gonna get himself those thunder coins, run himself over into the zone where he's going to try and get himself that Vulpine Essence Jade. This is going to be a coveted Soul Jade of all of these players. DRG's Fong having this, granting himself a little bit of his extra life coming through here. And it looks like he is in a bit of trouble. Going to have to get himself out of the zone fast. Otherwise, that Jade is going to proc. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, if you find 10 of the Thunder Coins, or I believe it, if you find the certain amount of those thunder coins that are around that area of the map and you place them onto that giant blue rock you will unlock the volpine essence orb which is a uh goes into your soul jade slot you pick it up and if you go below zero hp you will gain yourself back 75 percent of your health knocking back your enemies it's like a mortal defiance on some steroids that will boost up your game make it even more difficult to kill you so if your opponent is very low and you get yourself low as well and he manages to get that last hit you're going to come back with so much more hp he's going to get caught off guard come around on the front foot return the attack around as we are going to see x1's wufang with an armor swap into another blue armor ewg's arano very aggressive here right off the rip purple dual halberds in hand for wufang looks like he is just going to try and kite this out though doesn't want to engage too quickly. Arano, purple armor, purple dagger in hand. Very, very kitted out. Has that purple staff as well. Extremely kitted, especially for an Immortal War format here. Has a extremely good amount of loot as we're jumping into here. We do see the Assault Smolder onto Wufang here. We are going to see both of them going for the parry. Does end up missing. We're seeing the bow shots come out from Arano as well. Jumps on to the staff here. Tries to go for the overhold. Gets the jumping LMB here. We are going to see the jump parry come out, but nothing connects as Wufang decides he just does not want the smoke right now. We're going to see the bow shot coming through to hit the bell, seeing where all these players are. Frost of is getting spot out unsuspecting, but he is going to be in this area as well. Wufang does not want any part of this battle. It looks like he is going to just take his life and back away. I mean, obviously playing to the best of his ability here in this uh, moment here, Wolfong, I mean, he was able to get at least one elimination. So it's better for him to try to back out this, maybe slow down that momentum potentially. So let's see what happens here is 
I mean, we're going to head uh, towards another section here. So we're going to get our first, first fights going inside of the realm of Yang here. And, you know, it's really going to set the tone for the rest of the, the rest of the night here to kind of see where everyone goes to and what the expectation is uh, for some of these players. Let's see how this is really going to dive in for some as, you know, they're going to start to immediately fight into it. Meanwhile, Wolves by himself doesn't necessarily have to worry about it. It's Fat Milk and Yuan Yuan going to be nearby each other. It looks like Unique is going to have a spot. But it looks like down near the bottom left, there's going to be at least four solid players. It looks like it's going to be fighting it out for their placement inside the realm of Yang here. So I'm curious to see who's going to get what and where do they go from here. As you see, OUG's Mike, he's just going to sit back. He's going to lollygag a little bit. He's going to see what's going on here first before they really decide to dive into this. Seeing what's going to be the special thing and what makes sense here towards this. Trying to find it out. He's going to pick up that Yang pass. He's uh, just going to kite out here. Does not need to take a fight and engage. Looks like he is just going to end up buying himself as much time as possible. He does have a minute before he's able to enter. Now it's gone down to 30 seconds on the timer, and it looks like AIS is going to try and take away the Yang pass from Mike. But they will be able to invest their ultimates near the end here. The one two coming in from the Nunchucks into an overhold here as we are going to see the F coming out again from Mike. Mike lost all of his shield. Now down to only white health. Doesn't want to go for an armor swap because he will get that health replenished in about 10 seconds. We're going to see him ult pretty soon here. Here we go. The ult coming out onto AIS. Just getting a little bit of extra damage off. He only has three seconds left before uh, he needs to enter that realm of Yang as we are going to see him jump right in, gain his ultimate back. And he's going to be taking that first fight against ASE's XY. So XY, and then we're seeing Frostivus fighting against Wolves Kaibao. He is at a little bit of a weapon disadvantage, but they've got the same amount of armor here. Liam versus Zai. This is going to be a pretty interesting fight to see happen here as we're going to see the staff going for the overcharge here as the pistol shots are going to come out from Frostivus. Tries to go for the parry, gets the overhold damage off. We are going to see the ult come out right away, but is able to get some focus damage in before the ultimate attacks start to come out. He's able to kite out the burn very well. Does get parried, Does a, is able to take away the parry punish here. He is going to end up hitting Kaibao for a lot of damage. Going to end up trying to kite this out. Going for a bit of a reset here. Cannon shots coming in strong from Frostivus. Does have one more charge on that ultimate. Is going to try and kite out just a little bit more. Is going to be able to kite out all of that burn damage as well. Does get end up getting hit again. We are going to see him come through though. Does end up missing though. We are going to see Frostivus lose Pryo where he could have come away, but he's able to deal so much damage. Tries to go for that Crouch LMB there. Isn't going to be able to hit it. Both of these players trying to go for these parries here. Kaibao on that health disadvantage. Frostivus in a very good position. The F ability is going to come out. I believe he does have his F off of timer here as they are getting very low. White HP for both of these players. No shield left for the rest of them, but he's able to get the overhold and Frostivus coming away with his first elimination in the realm of Yang. Flipping over to Spider here. We are going to see him going up against Arano. Going for the upper hut into the 2 one, one able to come away with some huge damage from that focus attack here. Arano trying to go for the scale rush on the other side. Mirror matchup for the weapons here. The hottie ultimate looks to have already been invested here. Huge parry coming up for Spider. Able to take out Arano as he wins the Realm of Yang. Really solid one for Spider here. Spider, you know, really coming through with that amazing finish here onto Wolves. Wolves, you know, Wolves kind of out. I got to give it to him. Really gave uh, Spider a run for his money here. Spider really had to work hard for that one here. As you know, you could tell the improvements coming in from Spider has been pretty solid uh, for his play style and what he's been doing so far here. So it's really good to see. Is we're going to look back at OUG's Mike here, who he's also going to be running it out towards uh, Star here. Star with the, the amount of pushing and the amount of element that he's been able to bring into himself as well. Um, Star has really become well a star um, inside of the realm, <laughs> inside of the uh, the game of Naraka Blade Point so far here. So it's good to see that he's really been taking advantage of everything that's been happening here. As we got the timer set though, Wolves Sky Bow three and a half minutes. Meanwhile, Yuan Yuan and Spiders in the middle of a fight here. Ulti already dropped out in the middle. As uh, Spider looks like he wants to be able to engage on this, but he's using this moment here. For him to be able to go for the reheal and the reshield. As it looks like he's gonna rotate right into it. It catches him unsuspectingly. Spider catching you on, you on, unsuspecting, nowhere to go, nothing to do. And Wolves Kai Bao is gonna find him again. Here's here he goes for a round number two here. But Spider is ready for him, ready to go. He's gonna keep that same situation going here. As now he's gonna try to clutch this, this in. And Spider and Wolves looks like he's gonna find this moment here. Nice hits coming through from the, the, the grains, but then here comes a third party coming in from Frost. It's able to kind of ruin the momentum for Wolves. It's not looking good for him here as he's already dangerously low. Oh, oh. And Frost of this is just gonna send him going and packing in back towards the lobby here. But let's see if he can continue that right into 
uh, WBG Spider here, which is nice little anchor breaker. Oh no, but you won! Is able to steal the elimination away from Frostivus. Unfortunate here. That was about to be his third elimination, but Yuan Yuan finally able to get getting his second elimination on the board as well here. A lot of steals coming through so far here as it looks like they were waiting for the parry to connect here as Frost is trying to time this. Meanwhile, Yuan Yuan and Wufang is going to be right third partying right here. Not looking good though as everybody's trying to fight for this elimination. Unique just trying to disappear and getting out of harm's way here. Same thing with Mike. Mike trying to see if he can scale the rush this up and out. Trying to see if maybe he can find where Unique has gone here. It looks like Unique has already popped his ulti. Already went airborne. Already healed. And he is out of there. Well, at least not for Mike's sake. Mike is still chasing this out. And he's going to chase this all the way. He's going to really push towards this here as he does fly this all the way to the other side here. And knowing that now it's just him and him and Mike, he wants to fight this out. Mike is not going to let him sleep through this as well here as he just closes in on it just so ever so slow. But not enough to be able to connect it. I take that back a little too soon here. Oh, no. And here comes Spider. Going to be able to try to see if maybe he, maybe he can steal the elimination away. Dangerously low. And it looks like Spider is going to steal it away from Mike right in front of him. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Both of them is going to be able to go airborne. Spider, nice hits to connect off of this. It's not looking good for Mike here. As Mike's going to decide he needs to be able to dip out of this. Oh, but he does find a blue shield right in front. He's going to take Mike airborne yet again. Absolutely douses him. But it's not looking good as Yuan Yuan's going to come through with a third party here. Trying to see if he can connect for the jump parry. Unsuccessful on both sides here. And Mike is actually going to switch this around on Yuan Yuan. Yuan Yuan not looking good here. As he does try to see if he can climb towards it. Oh no! Ends up getting caught by the NATO. And just like that, Spider is able to get a free meal and a free drink. What a sprite. Spider on five, six eliminations now, stealing kills from under everybody's nose, doing a perfect job to avoid that Temi ultimate as well. We are seeing Mike getting super aggressive as he needed to cure his Yang depletion. He had very little time left on that. And every single time he was coming close to a kill, Spider just said, ha, I'm going to take that away from you. And I'm going to take the bloom. He was coming close, but Spider was able to jump in and steal the soul bloom right under his nose for just a second, forcing Mike to play with a heightened sense of aggression, making him make a fewer good decisions and start messing up with his mental a little bit and was able to come away and take his elimination as well. We did see XY try to come through and steal an elimination from under his nose as well. I believe XY did pick up one of those eliminations, but and we saw Frost of his pick up another one. But most of these kills did end up going to Spider and Arano, who's on 17 seconds left on his Yang depletion needs to take out TE Sar as quick as possible. Otherwise, he is going to be done. 10 seconds to his name here. He has no time for his life left. We see him go in the statue. And now he has to get the kill. He gets the kill. Three seconds to get the bloom. Does he get it? He gets the bloom with one second to spare. EWG Zorano is able to keep himself in the game. He is down and praying right now, thanking the Lord because of how close that was, he was extremely, extremely close. He had one second left and the body decided to fly away on him. So difficult, especially with the movement gets a little bit difficult in those areas when the terrain starts to grief you a little bit. As we are gonna take a look at the Realm of Yango right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're seeing the Temi XY coming through against X1's Wufang. Purple Focus gonna be coming through from the sword. We are gonna see him just try and throw as many of these Wind Wisps as possible at Wufang before the ultimate is gonna go down. But now it's Wufang's turn to attack here. He's gonna answer the call with Kylan Slash after Kylan Slash taking so much damage. And now there we go with one ultimate move into the immortality rate. He's able to come away with a beautiful elimination. X1 Wufang picking up his second kill of the game. Gonna get himself a legendary katana with some legendary armor. And that White Tiger's prowess buff is gonna give him such a huge advantage as we are gonna see Frostivis does end up getting eliminated in the realm of Yang to DRG's Fong, who's picking up, I believe, his first elimination of the match. Could be his second. Um, but we do see him pick that up. Fong is going to have that gold weapon, gold armor coming through as uh, we're going to be jumping into the second stage of the game. XY and Frostivis, both players, are going to have five minutes to pick themselves up a Soul Bloom Essence. Otherwise, they are going to be in a heap of trouble coming into this game and trying to keep themselves alive. They do have a good stack for weapons and armor, so they are going to be hyper aggressive. They have their ultimates available. Four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock for XY. I believe it's going to be about the same for DRG's Fong. Fong really needs, or uh, Alliance's Frostivis. Frostivis really needs to come away with this elimination. He's on two kills. He's having a good game. Spider, obviously running away with it right now, has six 
eliminations so far, which is absolutely crazy. DRG's Fung, gold nunchucks, gold armor looking absolutely stacked. Playing on the Kylan is going to be a very difficult opponent to defeat, especially with how good his movement is. I mean, so far, it's been very solid here as we're going to look at the replays coming in from uh, the other realm of Yang as Afung and Frostivus was finding that out. A really long airwalk moment here as they both collide. A DRJ's Fang with a really good defensive uh, push here. Frostivus trying to see if he can connect with the pistol. It looks like he was successful for a lot of those here. Really good finish, though, towards the combo with the parry. And then Fung able to find it just to get him airborne a little bit while longer. Oh my goodness, the clone actually misses out on that strike. Unfortunate, though. Frostum is going to be able to rotate this around, catches him yet again. And he lets it actually do it yet again for him. But he was able to at least find that moment here to get the shutout and close it in just like that. Does a fantastic job of that overall. Yeah, Man. he did a... He did a perfect job of tap dodging those ultimate slashes from Frostivus and was able to just time his ultimate to come away with the victory. Tap dodges, only able to do so much. Meanwhile, Wolfgang and Frost fighting this out as the circle is closing in. They're on the outskirts of the circle here, so... <clears throat> Not looking the best for him here as Frostivus trying to get a little bit of some defense, but I mean, you can't really defend against the bullets. Not looking good for him as Wolfgang... Gonna get some nice movement. Beautiful quick hit coming through from the pistol. Be able to pull it out. Frost is trying to see if maybe they can counter it, but not too much of a counter here to be able to connect it. Nice little stun trying to see if maybe they can run it back. Oh, sends Frost is flying from the outskirts of the circle here. And now it looks like Frost is gonna be on the run here. Actually misses as well. Beautiful dodge to be able to connect that. Oh no, and Wolfong actually misses out on the grapple here. Might have gave Frost of us at least a little bit. Oh no, but Frost of us misses out on his grapple too. Yeah, okay. Frostivus running. He's running for his life right now. Wu Feng with the White Tiger's prowess. He did just lose it now, as we are going to see Feng getting caught with a Wind Wisp, losing all of his gold armor here. Going to be forced to take a reset, but AIS answering the call, seeing how low Feng was getting, is going to try and take him out of this lobby. He is going to be forced to pop the ult here. Feng going to go on the offensive here with his first two Kylan slashes. Going to try and heal to get himself a few more slashes back getting himself back onto his gold armor as well. These t players see a blood in the water. They are going to start sharking up onto him here. As the weakness in the storm is going to make it, so it's going to be difficult for him to heal up as much as he would if he was in the safe zone. But Frostivus, a minute and 50 seconds left on this Yang depletion. He needs to get a kill fast, otherwise he's in a lot of trouble. Same with XY. XY on one minute and 25 seconds on that Yang depletion. Needs a kill yesterday. AIS now becoming the target of the lobby. Purple armor. XY as well. No red healing left. No white heals left. Isn't going to be able to heal his health, which is a little bit detrimental to him since he does have not full HP. AIS now going into a full battle with XY here. Gold pulse sword in hand is going to come away with the first bet of the double slash here. We are going to see him hit another one charge. Temi ultimate not online is going to connect from the Kylan or from the uh, Liam ult here into an armor swap. We are going to see the follow up coming through. Lots of damage. XY does have the opportunity to be able to pull this off. The Wind Wind's coming out and he gets the elimination into the Soul Bloom here. And EWG Zerano did try and steal it from under his belt there, but a beautiful elimination with the Wind Wisp countering the Liam ultimate. And now Frost of his 46 seconds left. Fung just trying to kite out as fast as possible. Frostivus desperately needs this elimination, but X1 Wufang sees the desperateness in the player's movements as Frostivus really needs a kill. 30 seconds left on his Yang depletion. Is competing in the top seven right now, so he is not having too terrible of a game, but losing that Realm of Yang has made it so much more difficult for him to be able to continue here because looks like he might just decide to take the L here and go into the zone so nobody's able to come over his body. 15 seconds left, is not able to find anybody resetting, so it looks like he might just take himself into the zone here. Nine seconds left on that Yang depletion. Gonna see if he can get anybody but no. four three two one and ggs frost of us ladies and gentlemen two eliminations 2.5 game score is not going to be super terrible coming out from the start but it is definitely not the game we wanted to see he was having a lot of great momentum won his first realm of yang was able to get a third party kill but in the end, losing to fong in the realm of yang what was caused his downfall but xy the 
we saw it earlier from EWG's Arano was able to get a bloom at the last second, keeping him into the game. And then we saw it again from ASE's XYs. All of these players are going to start converging on to the spirit well as all these players want to grab that coveted buff as we see wbg spider it looks like he does have that universe slash jade we're going to see that no ult zone getting popped making it even more difficult for these players to try and contest the spirit well it's a rano gunning for it see what happens here is everybody's really in this uh in this circle here trying to see if maybe they can conjure up some type of method to keep the same energy alive here is uh it looks like we're going to see some cannon shots ricocheting from some of the other players here but Obviously, going to be able to push onwards towards it. Arano is going to back out of this as you on, you on. It's uh, trying to see if maybe he can conjure up something, but it's not going to be enough. As Arano's going to pop open that ulti here. He wants to try to see if he can separate this from as far as possible here. Actually tries to get some strikes here. Trying to see if he can connect something onto uh, you on, you on. It looks like he's going to be successful in it, but looks like somebody's going to try to see if he can third party out of this. And just like that, he says, hey, listen, I know I got you super low here, but I'm going to let you have all your fun, buddy. I'll see you later. As uh, he's going to absolutely dip out as far and as fast as possible here. He said, you got it, twin. As uh, Rano sadly does get stopped by the same person. And Arano now in the worst place to be here. Dangerously low. And now everybody knows it. Oh, no. He's going to try to see if he can get towards it. At least tries to get away, but not enough. As Wolfong is actually going to steal that elimination away here. And he says, you got, you, you got lucky there, Bucky, buddy, Bucko. Not today. He slowly closes in this gap here to try to see if maybe he can capture a finish. But not able to do too much here. And now, just like that, we're back at it again with another strike here. As we got final three players alive here inside of this, uh, not the realm of Yang, but inside of this Ballista. Oh, beautiful parry here to be able to connect it onto Fat Milk here. Not able to do enough, which forces uh, Fat Milk to be able to pop the ulti here. And now he's going to be able to try and shred it toward it. Oh, no, not looking good for Wolfang here, as he does end up getting hit by the Bane's Breath. And now he actually gets hit. I can't even do too much here. Gonna have to be a little bit careful. They are on the outskirts of this one here on both sides. Meanwhile, both of them somewhat back on top here in terms of their heroes, not able to do enough here. They're both gonna have to force themselves to fight at least a little bit outside of the circle here. Bagmill trying to rotate this around here. Going a little bit of some follow me. It's like some cannon shots are also gonna connect to his Fong. Who wants to try to make this happen? Fab Milk is on the odd ball out here in the situation. A little bit low on his shield, a little bit on their heels, but sadly, both of the opponents that he has against him both have a gold shield on them. Obviously, going to try to see maybe they can close in this gap, but Wu Fong wants this fight. He, Bad Milk, that wants none of this smoke here. Oh, but I understand why. Beautiful parry to connect it, already knowing exactly when that moment strikes here. And Fat Milk forced to fight this, not looking good for him, knowing both of them are just absolutely going to ricochet this. They're just using this as a free opportunity for a strike. But beautiful notice here is the slam is going to be able to get them both away. It looks like he's going to be able to get, at least get towards the katana. Maybe to be able to get the finish here, but it's not going to be enough. As Fat Milk holding strong little by little, but oh. Wu Fong is going to get the elimination. Beautiful steal. Trying to get that away as the Fung trying to see if he can close it in. It's not going to be enough as Wu Fung takes the time. He's a little patient. And just with that patience comes a dub. His first one of the game on game number one. X1's Wu Fang, bro, coming through with an absolutely beautiful series of eliminations. He was able to pick himself up for that game as well here. About to get ready to lock in here. So you're going to see some dabs, handshakes, and everything else locking in for our game number two for our bi-weekly solo game three. So we're going to take a look right off the rip. Kaibao getting himself some gray nunchucks, gray armor. Mike can have a bit of an armor advantage. Is going to go for the aggression right away. Doesn't see Kaibao. We see the scale rush coming through. It looks like Kaibao not wanting to engage right away. Want to find himself a little bit of a better scale here. So we are going to see the LMB Pryo coming out from Mike on the longsword here. And my mistake, RMB Pryo here. We're going to see the meter dump overhold coming out here. So you are going to try and get this uppercut combo going as he gets the one, two into a great sword swap from the long sword. Oh my goodness, Mike, that was dirty. And that is the OUG's Mike we've been missing all season, ladies and gentlemen. But he went from the long sword into a great sword swap for the final damage, was able to secure himself a free focus attack to come away with the elimination. Gets the 1.0 off here with the long sword, goes for the one two, is gonna be able to hit himself LMB Pryo here. We are gonna see the Wind Whisk coming out. Overhold gonna come through, but AS is gonna get the parry, but he misses the punish damage here. Almost had a free Nezhes coming through. So you are gonna see him try and go for the Nezhes again. We are gonna see the one two coming out into the 1.0. 
from the horizontal attack. Mike now dangerously low. And we've tried to pop the F, but AIS is going to come away with the elimination. Purple Spear just dealing so much damage. That overhead bonk is going to deal so much to come away with his first elimination. This might get sent to the soul altar. Spider with a very quick armor swap here. We're going to see the focus attack coming up from both of these players on the nunchucks. It looks like Frost is trying to give chase really quickly. Rubber chicken nunchucks in hand. Spider doing a great job of kiting this out. But the one two coming through. F ability going to save him here as TE star. Purple nunchucks in hand it is going to be giving just as much chase as well. But the one two into that spider. Very close to death here. Trying to kite out. It is going to be able to get away. But Frost is sniping the kill from downtown, ladies and gentlemen, as he picks up his first. Gonna be a solid first here as well. Here as we see Wolfong, Spider, Fong, and Frosty AIS as well. Um, able to get the first uh, elimination on the board. Same with OUG's Mike, but sadly he did get eliminated. Uh, as we're gonna be able to see where they kind of are able to knock this out as well. Does a solid job uh, trying to see if maybe they can get some nice maneuvering. But obviously that focus and the strikes that they have for each of the players here. They, I mean, they really was able to dictate that super super well here. As we're gonna look back at Star and Arado finding this out inside of the hut here. As Arano was able to get some nice strikes and decides to back out from outside of the window here. Not able to do a whole lot, even with the amount of timing that he had. Still was able to see the next bits of momentum they could maybe pull potentially from this. But not able to do a whole lot here as now we're going to see that rotation really start to come in here as Mike trying to see if maybe he can dip out. He does have full shield, so he couldn't strike and make this work if he, if, if he decided to. As uh, Wolves wants to fight this out, he wants his payback. He wants to see if maybe he can get some payback from this because obviously he didn't really get a chance to get uh, as much love or as much as as he wanted to prior. It looks like Wolves will be unsuccessful in that, unfortunately, here. They have both been sent to the Soul Altar, so fighting here would be extremely dangerous for them as uh, if one of them dies, they will not get to continue their gameplay as uh, Kaibao was getting a little bit aggro there, but uh, Mike did have ultimate online, so it could have been very dangerous for him. Good thing for him to back out as we do see TE Star is going to lose ultimate here in Nerano right back into the mix, is going to go for the one two with the fan here hits it over and over again the chase nunchucks bringing it back around he does have one more dash coming through as so we are going to see the focus attack coming out from the nunchucks is going to connect here arano taking a lot of damage switching over to the dual halberds to try and make something happen the lmb prio trying to go for an uppercut huge berry coming out d star now in a heap of trouble from the scale rush into the one one light attack to take away his life here and now wufang fighting against wolves kai bao on the outskirts of the circle here the charged RMB is going to come through, dealing a whole lot of damage. So we are going to see Kaibao trying to come through. The 1.0 vertical from Wufang is going to deal a lot of damage. Tries to come out with the ultimate ability here from the Liam. Isn't going to be successful. Wufang, no ultimate online for him, but uh, Kaibao is going to cancel that ult. Give himself 30% rage. Get himself a blue armor swap. Nice blue armor coming through. It's very rare to see that they have a lot of blue armor swaps coming through in the game, but it looks like he might have found himself another one as they're going to be jumping through. Spider. Still in the mix of this fight here. He did go out, has lost his rebirth. So it's going to be not optimal if he decides to take his fight. And he does come away with a loss on the board here. He is going to go out at one elimination. Spider wanting to put a few more numbers up on the board. Looks like he's going to opt to just go for this from Yang. Does have that Liam alt online available if he needs to. 5 to 1 unique looks to be capturing the realm of Yang pass as well. Fong down on the bottom side is going to have a yang all to himself there's a the most southern yang is going to be completely free nobody ca capturing that but the rest of these players trending to the upper side of the map spider is going to get you have to burn his f ability here as he did get parried by unique the one two coming through as the overhold charge is going to come spider tries to go for the parry and to the bow shot isn't going to connect here and unique's just going to back off as the yang's going to spawn none of these players want to go out right here because if they go out they're done and the damage is permanent and that is going to be unfortunate if you end your game right here all of that fighting and you've got to wait for the next game as the yang is going to spawn all of these players are going to start clamoring for the yang passes spider's going to get the first one so he is going to just try and kite this out here guaranteeing him a spot in the yang if he's able to hold on to this pass for the next 53 seconds steve the app you have the opportunity to here as we're looking at wolves kai bao here and fang is uh obviously not having the greatest time here fighting this out with fong here as uh, Wolves trying to see if maybe he can get out of this, but it's not going to be doing well as he has oh, no, no idea where Fong was in the middle of that strike. Is able to get the elimination and now he gets the tag for himself as he looks like he's going to take advantage of it and be able to go for the quick re-heal re though and the repair 
onto his uh, stuff here. It looks like he's going to be able to get a little bit of some, some repair stuff. Work it towards the next one. It looks like we're going to be heading straight in. Purple dagger in hand. Yes, trying to see if maybe they can work towards it here, towards the uh, towards the realm here. Does have some time left, and one, and... Going to head right on in, or at least I assume he will. Wuhan, what are you doing? He's going to wait and try and snipe the Yang to get in one of the last spots. There is a chance that one of these players might not join up in the Realm of Yang, as it looks to be here. Spider versus Fung. This is going to be an interesting one here. XY and X1. Wu Fung are going to be fighting it out in the Realm of Yang, as well as the bow shots are going to be flying through. None of them are going to connect, though. Spider on the fan. We are going to see the F abilities getting invested from both players here. Fung burning his. We're going to see the scale rushes coming out. Purple dagger in hand for Fung. That's his signature weapon. It's going to be very difficult to deal with Fung as well. Spider knows this as he's taking the kite to the skies here. Tries to go for the cannon shot. Isn't going to be able to connect. They're both holding blue in each other's faces here. None of them want to throw this out as the parries are going to come through really quickly. But Fung gets the blue into the follow up. Into the one-two spider, low HP now. All he needs is one scale rush attack, and it's gonna be over. It's gonna be able to get the grapple buff though into the 1.0, into the jumping RMB coming through with so much damage now. Spider in a very difficult position as we do see Frostivus is gonna get fully eliminated from this game as well. Unfortunate to see him go so early, but Fung with the Hung Sword into the Matari Alt teleport is gonna come away with the elimination, getting himself another gold weapon. Whole sword in hand. That's going to be a huge damage buff for his scale rushes here as Fat Milk goes out as well into the Realm of Yang or outside of the Realm of Yang. So he is going to be fully eliminated from this game as well. We've already got three players completely eliminated. AS with a super huge berry into the overhold is going to come out with the elimination from the pistol shot. Tries to go into alt, but TE Star was not able to hold on. AIS coming through with a little bit of a teabag as he gets that gold staff and the Vermilion's Bird Might coming into the rest of this game. Might have just been lucky though from that clutch. I don't necessarily know if that was uh if that was a uh a sacking possibly here, but you know, I'd love to see a little bit of some some craziness coming through here as this are gonna head back straight towards that same set here. Let's see if they can keep that same uh, preference going here. As Yuan Yuan is gonna be able to keep moving, keep working, keep striking. See if they can figure that out towards the next one here. As Yuan Yuan just trying to work out. Work towards it. Taking his time. Little by little here. You love to see it. Oh, nice parry coming out from Fung there to be able to take away XY's golden fan that he just got in the realm of Yang. But we are going to see the ultimate coming out here. He's just desperately trying to grab the kill into Fung, but Fung able to use that Matari ultimate to kite out just a little bit. He's going to have that gold fan in hand. He's going to switch it over to a dagger, maybe get himself a super huge buff. But XY is going to go out the third party from Wu Fung there did not have a buff so it means he did cure his yang depletion getting himself that soul bloom and now fung ready to get aggressive still has a little bit of charge left on his ultimate he's gonna try and invest it onto wufang here gonna go for the teleport doesn't get the damage here has one last thrust and one last teleport to be able to use gonna try and use it here onto wufang but the ultimate is gonna go down looks like he doesn't really want to take this fight goes into the grapple bump into the 1.0 here but we are gonna see wufang come and answer with a f ability of his own gets the lmb prio coming through with a huge uppercut combo into the jumping LMBs doesn't go for the grapple extension here on the hung sword. We are going to see the scale rushes come out. Huge berry from Wu Fong here. DRG Spag is going to get eliminated. Wu Fong picking himself up his fourth elimination on the board. He cured his Yang depletion in the Yang, or he cured his Yang depletion from taking out one player he was able to take out xy earlier he now has gold fan and he was able to parry that off of drg's fong Wu Feng having an absolute tear of a game again and now he's doing it in the mid game he's getting super aggressive as well and he's still coming through with hyper aggressiveness drg's fong back in the mix as well trying to get aggressive with the pull sword scale rush Looks like he is just going to hang back here as WBG Spider taking a fight in the backside of the map here. We are going to see, oh my goodness, the great sword, pull sword, conjured Eric Swap to take out Spider. Oh my oh. goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I never thought we'd see it happen. The great sword, pull sword swap. Oh my goodness, we're witnessing history here, Dobby. And he did it clean too. No hesitation. No, like, it's like he'd been planning into this and was preparing for it for just like, one of those moments for it to work and for it to strike. And man, was it a time for you to be able to pull that out? Was then in there, that was a time for you to do it. And obviously he was able to maximize that opportunity. 
And to be able to do it to one of our top players here is also another diabolical moment here um, where he was able to take advantage of it when really when it was really important to. Because, man, oh, man, was that a strike to see. Meanwhile, Star is going to get caught in the worst position here as he does end up uh, getting hit, though, by Rano. Now, here comes the shots here, trying to see if maybe any of them are going to be able to connect them potentially here as Star... Trying to see if they can calculate this just a little bit here as he does find his place on the inside here. For a space potentially to be able to dip out of this, but it looks like he's not going to be able to do too much. He's got the full heal. Meanwhile, Star is going to be hanging around. He's going to rotate in towards his left side here. Surprised that no one hasn't really popped a no ult zone moment here. Oh, as he does end up getting sniped though as well. In between all of this, Star trying to see maybe he could dip out of this as best as possible. Able to try to dive in just a little bit while longer here. Taking his time, a little bit of effort, a little bit of energy. And it looks like Arano might have potentially lost him here. Oh no, as he isn't going on the outskirts here. The Yuan Yuan trying to take his time here towards this. Rotating this around. Fong just trying to see if he can hit some shots as he is going to be able to do it through the wall. Not able to do too much as he does end up trying to shield this off. Meanwhile, Fong ends up getting pushed and ambushed by Yuan Yuan here. Yuan really played a phenomenal game here. Nice strike to be able to come through with this. Oh, actually ends up sending him flying yet again here. Does the same thing with the combo. Combo strike able to do so much. Fong, dangerously low here. Yuan, Yuan only needs one more decent strike here to be able to get this finished here. But Yuan doesn't want to leave knowing that he does have the Realm of Yang. So it gives Fang yeah. a shot to be able to back out of the circle here. Oh my goodness, Fung escaping with his life as Wu Fang decides to opt for the Yang. It is the more optimal play. We would love to see the shark down with the rest of his ult, but the ultimate was going down as XY is going to just take the fight against Wu Fang in the realm of Yang. Kylan versus Matari. It's going to be an interesting fight to see how this plays out here. If Matari burns her ultimate too fast, XY is able to come in with some crazy damage on to the ultimate, but the damage is getting burnt down. XY is taking a lot of HP, forcing the ultimate out first. This is the play where Wu Fang is going to be in a comfortable position here. Just doesn't want to get hit by too many of the Kylan shots. As I say, that gets hit by multiple slashes here. Because we are going to see the first F slash coming out into the first teleport. XY now taking a lot of damage, but Wu Fang as well, getting desperately low, is going to go down as the Kylan ult is able to just absolutely overpower the Matari. Is Mike now coming out into the Kylan ult, but. We are going to see the Temi ultimate coming through as well, but isn't able to get the Wind Wisp away as we start as AIS was not engaged in the F ability, didn't have the Wind Wisp available right then. Uh, Temi wall is going to go down. We're going to see the first Kylan Slash come through, connecting. Misses on the second one, though, as we are going to see the follow-up coming through. AS doing a great job of kiting this out as now ultimate down for both of these players. It's going to be coming through. Cyan Fang Jade coming through. The 1-2-3 Jade able to come and make an appearance in the Pro League. We're seeing everything come through today. The Overhold going to come through, deal a lot of damage. AIS is still dangerously low here. Gets a huge jump fairy, and Mike with the F ability saving him here. Going to try and go for the LMB Prio with the Overhold again. And the AIS, oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, was able to come through overholding into a staff absolute insanity here ladies and gentlemen we're seeing one two three jades come out with the cyan fang ais coming through with a crazy overhold mike almost able to pull it away but the kylan ult was not strong enough for him to be able to reign victorious and now we're taking a look at x1's Wu Fang. so i just said this from earlier too as well here you know, AIS was definitely one of those players that really had a solid performance here, obviously within that top four, but sadly was not able to clutch it up as SS1 was able to actually uh, steal that away. But really surprising and amazing performance coming through from him. So to be able to see him come back really, really strong in this uh, in this game so far and playing it so well has been phenomenal to watch as we look at Wolfong. And it looks like Wufong is not giving Arano any chance or any opportunity here really to be able to cut, cut this any closer or shut this down at all. As Wufong diving into this Barely giving him a chance here as Arano does end up getting shot, though, by another player here as he's going to end up going from the outskirts of the circle here, not giving him too much of an opportunity here as he does need to continue to heal so that way he doesn't get caught up from outside of the circle as he does end up popping that no alt zone, making it harder for any of the players. If they do want to start to dive in, they cannot really dive deep and strong into him. And though, meanwhile, AIS finding this out with Mike, AIS losing some of their shield here as Mike is in the middle of the, the chase as well to be able to conjure this up. Oh, Mike was able to predict that so well. Beautiful recovery coming from the AIS, but it's not going to be enough as he doesn't end up getting caught, sniped, and gets the finish though. Pops the ulti here. He's going to be able to force that to be able to push through here. And Mike ends up getting slowed down here. 
So the opportunity, and it looks like he's going to try to see if maybe he can scare rush this downwards a little bit more towards it, but it looks like he's not going to be able to do enough to his Fung. And so getting eliminated by Wu Fung. Curious to see what happens there. Most likely we'll be able to see that during the, uh, the replays here. But what a finish so far here. For Wu Fang. Wu Fang. Wu Fang, if you notice, though, there is still red around his Matari emblem, so it means that somebody else might have picked up that Soul Bloom Essence. He wasn't able to cure his Yang Depletion as well. Mike still needing to cure it. Three minutes and 21 seconds left. They did, still do have a lot of time, but Wu Fang did just invest almost everything into picking up that kill onto Mike. And it looks like maybe one of the other players that was in the mix of that fight did take away the Soul Bloom. We're going to see the Cavalry Bloom coming out from Mike here. He's just targeting JL's AIS. Knows that the ultimate is down on the Temi. Is going to try and go for these scale rushes to try and come away with the elimination. He needs to collect a Soul Bloom in the next three minutes. Otherwise, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. We're seeing the Wind Whiz come out. He wasn't able to connect onto anybody, so it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for him to kite out of these fights here as now XY coming through with some heavy damage with the gold staff in hand, gold armor in hand as well. OUG's Mike needs this bloom. He doesn't care about the kill at this point. He just needs to get the soul, bl soul bloom, excuse me, as we are going to see him come through the jumping uppercut here to be able to take some damage. We're going to see him kite out, able to scale rush away, gold fan in hand, so he is going to have that movement buff from the fam. I'm going to see the one-two coming out. Huge parry coming out, though. Mike going to have to invest that F ability. One-two coming through as well. Again from AIS. The overhold is going to come through. Mike investing that ultimate now. Has to get this elimination. AIS going to go for that Wind Wisp. Again, the F ability coming out to be able to save him. Gold F. So he is going to have to be able to negate a whole bunch of that damage. But the Kylan Slash coming through. Pushing him into the building, though. Back with the ultimate available now. Mike needs this kill. So desperate for the elimination is going to be able to just kite around this ultimate AIS, making it so difficult for him to come through. X1's Wufang as well is in a dangerous spot as well. Still needs to get himself a Soul Bloom, otherwise he will not be competing further into this game. And he has five eliminations. He's going to want to take those points. He is having back-to-back -back consistent games here, and he could be contender for another MVP if he continues to get that Soul Bloom. Meanwhile, he does have a few other players here he has to worry about here is AIS. And Arano is catching up to him with those three eliminations as well here. So let's not sleep on the fact that those two absolutely putting at work, especially knowing uh, Yuan Yuan is also clutching up too. He's been doing super well with some of his third parties. And honestly, uh, last week was a really amazing show coming in from Yuan Yuan. I mean, he really put in so much time, so much effort. And he was amazing with some of the reveals here, but he ends up getting carried though from this as Arano looks like he's going to be waiting to try to see if he can get this finish, but it's not going to be able to do it fully here as he does miss out on the opportunity here. Arano able to find it with the collide and also the blade, but sadly was not able to actually finish this. The 180 turnaround for Wufang would have been so phenomenal, but sadly was not able to do it in the nick of time. He was dangerously low, but he loses out sadly and Arano's going to pick up that elimination, leading to the fact that Arano now has four eliminations. He needs one. Be able to take the uh, the lead away, truly, as Mike ends up getting hit really hard stuck on this as uh, Mike forcing this rotation from offside. It looks like he's going to do it from away from everybody and even away um, inside from outside of the circle here. He has 20 seconds left on the clock here, so he's going to make sure that nobody gets the opportunity to get the finish elimination here, trying to get away as far as possible, so that way no one actually conjugates for this finish. Unfortunate elimination for OUG's Mike here. And now we're down to five players. It looks like AS... XY here is going to be able to come away with the ultimate buff. He is going to have that White Tiger's prowess. He's got ultimate invested going to be able to come through and deal so much damage with this alt, and then he's going to get it right back again. As soon as that ult timer goes down, though, he is going to run out of that first ultimate. He is going to be able to invest it again. He does have a gold armor in the back pocket as well. He's going to give himself a free gold armor swap by capturing that spirit. Well, having the White Tiger's prowess buff, too, means he can get extra aggressive, gaining back health with a passive amount of time. Unique in the bush there. Doesn't see him. Manages to pass away. Every single player is going to be hiding from XY now. He only has two kills on the board, but there is the opportunity for him to pick up four more, especially with this White Tiger's prowess as looming he is going to be able to try, try and pick up the elimination he sees ais here spotted him out is going to try and go for this kill now huge parry coming out now ais is going to get eliminated 
pretty fast if he does not kite this out properly. Gets hit with the overhold into the pistol damage. AIS in a lot of trouble. Does have the ultimate online, so he's going to be able to try and kite this out for a little bit longer. Almost getting parried off that focus scale rush here as it looks like Arano was able to pick up that golden, oh, golden fan. That AIS got parried off of his body. XY was able to hit pick a super nice parry off. AIS backing down. Does not want to get caught out here, but is in a sticky situation. The 80% Bane now covering so much of the map, making it difficult for him to be able to rotate. Pistol shots coming through as well. Forced to pop that ultimate now, and XY still trying to run through here. It's going to get caught by the Bane, and XY picks up the elimination, putting him onto three kills, making it super difficult for these players to try and advance. Four players left in the lobby, 80% Bane covering so much, making it difficult for these players to rotate. A whole lot coming through here. It looks like it's going to be Yuan Yuan on the rotation here. As we're going to see in terms of where he might go. Trying not to get caught by a Bade's breath. Zerano looks like he's going to go through a little bit of some swaps, some repairs, preparing for the final fight here. Still got a little bit of time here before the circle does start to collapse and close in. Russ out the opportunity just for a shutout here. It's going to be able to take a little bit of some time here, but let's see where that momentum strikes for some of these play styles here. As TE Star is going to be a little bit hesitant. A little bit hesitant. Playing around with it very well. Taking his time. See if Looks he can like find something through this. Looks like 5 2 1 unique going for a bit of a reset, getting himself a purple armor swap. I believe he was on blue armor before. Having that purple armor is going to give him a little bit more of an advantage, getting him to stick it out a little bit more. But ASE's XY, seven seconds left on the White Tiger's prowess, still looking to get hyper aggressive. Wants that MVP and knows he needs to kill a few more players to do it here. Going to send unique into the stone form. He's just going to use it to dash away here. Triple charging that full sword to be able to just dash away. Unique now on the back foot, trying to get away but the counter grapples into so many pistol shots are just coming through dealing so much damage on a unique f ability coming out from both of these players is gonna have to force the ultimate out now te star wanting the kill too all of these players trying to kite out for the kill and arano sneaks in here comes through with an absolutely amazing finish as te star able to take away that golden fan but arano says look at me i got another one in the back pocket temi ultimate griefing these players attacks here as xy Hungry for some kills as well. Last players remaining in the lobby. It's going to be one Hottie, one Kylan, and one Matari. These players are going to want to focus out the Kylan in the lobby, making it more difficult as well as the Hottie. Hottie's going to be the main target of the lobby at first. Then they're going to focus onto the Kylan here. As Arano able to deal so much damage onto TE Star. F ability coming through from Arano Star. Forced to invest the ultimate early, and this is what they were trying to do. They're trying to force out the ult. They're trying to make it difficult for Star to be able to have longevity in this game. Arano doing a great job of kiting out here. Star is going to take the opportunity to go for a bit of a reset here. Still losing rage on that ultimate as we speak. XY doesn't care who he's going for. Just wants an elimination fast as he sees Arano getting low. And both of these players going for the heals in this little tiny area as XY just hot in pursuit. Arano getting dangerously low here. Gold fan in hand, but no armor, very little HP. It's going to be very difficult for him to come back here. Tries to go for a scale rush into the F thrust. It's going to send him up the buttery ox a little bit, getting a bit of a terrain buff as we usually see the terrain grief. The one, two coming through the ultimate is now going to get invested from Murano here. Going to try and use it to just gain some health back. Gets a bit of siphon off from the attack. XY just going to use the time to go for a bit of a reset for himself. He's burned both of these other players' ultimates. He's the only one with an ultimate yet to invest. And look at, there we see the ult coming out. Kylan ultimate going to be the most dangerous one in the lobby here. Going to use that time to just push Arano out of the zone. Going to try and push him as far away as possible. Connects on the second hit, but the F ability is going to come through. Just needs to connect one more time. Does it? Connects one, connects two, connects three. Gets the elimination, but the poison splash going to be very detrimental to this. Going to have to cancel the ult here, but he's taking poison damage as well as the other player in the lobby. It looks like we are going to see TE Star taking that poison damage, but as of now, he has secured that MVP slot with four eliminations. He doesn't even need the first place finish as TE Star only has one kill. The multiplier isn't going to do too much to him. Huge parry coming out is not going to be able to do too much with the punish damage. Low HP, but 47% left on the ultimate. Goes for the triple charge, isn't going to connect. Tries to go for the scale rush. We're going to see the fan scale rush coming through 
and connecting the clank coming through again clanks coming through he's just trying to scale rush he connects on one tries to connect on two parry comes through the overhold coming through he's able to turn it and to avoid the parry at the last second here 66 percent on ultimate he just wants to gain that rage back but it looks like he might not be able to do it x wide very low in hp just one more hit and he's done here they keep clanking off of each other the scale rush is coming through from the fan are just going to be so lethal here and he needs one more hit and it comes through te star picking up two eliminations and he's gonna get that first place placement with the multiplier but i believe the mvp is still going to go to ase's xy with a phenomenal game absolutely crazy oh i believe ewg zarano oh, now Lano. picked up a few more eliminations he was on five kills so it looks like the game is going to go to EWG Zorano with a third place finish, giving well, him just points enough well. points to surpass. And I believe XY needed the kill on to star to come away with the MVP. And he wasn't able to come away with it. Unfortunate for him, Arano coming away the winner of the game. Well, a great line or it's like kind of curving off. Uh, in terms of where people have been landing here. A lot of people have been playing this super, super well here. So it's good to see where the momentum has gone for some of these players. Now let's see if they can keep that same momentum locking it this in for our game number one. Meanwhile, for Fong, as they really start to put, be able to push in towards this here, Fong trying to see if they can dive strong and really trying to keep it together here. Because they're going to tend to back off this, playing this super well. Taking his time throughout all this is Wolves. Gonna be able to close back on towards it off the back. It looks like Fong. Oh, nice hits from the hand blades. And is able to get the finish off of that, though. Unfortunate, though. Not able to really close in that gap as much as they wanted to here. But they were able to see the gap for what it was. They were able to calculate it just a little bit better. Maybe they can take that time off towards the next one here as OUG's Mike is trying to see if maybe they can get a nice little bit of a hit here as a unique ends up getting a collided, dieted, and, and so close being finished here. Unfortunate though. Oh, nice blade to be able to get that successful off of him as well towards this. Tries to see if he can hit him, but unfortunate it was unsuccessful. Oh, but he's able to get it on that one though. He might have missed on the first one, but he's not going to miss on the second. Meanwhile, oh, UG's Mike trying to see if he can get a reshield here for the connectivity. Trying to do so much here towards this final finish here. Even with the strip fight, still able to dive in just a little bit better. Trying to play that out just a little bit smarter. From what we've noticed so far here is OUG's Mike's going to be able to go airborne here, trying to see if maybe he can collide towards the fight, but sadly was unable to. As looks like he's going to be able to separate, to be able to capture one. It looks like it's going to be in the capture side of Star. As looks like he's going to close in on it. Finally able to get some hits, though. He finds the great shield swap. Sadly, unable to really do too much here. As he ends up popping the stun here towards this. Tries to go for the reset. Is he able to plan for him to watch to be able to go right through towards the backside? And here comes another player. And it looks like that's going to be Juan Yuan. Trying to see if they can close that out. Not able to do too much here towards that. Oh, Star. Able to push him off a little bit. Nice little bit of a check. Tries to tell him, where do you think you're going there, buddy? About go. And Star. Trying to see if he can take his time here towards this. Goes right outside towards the window here. Trying to see if he can maneuver towards this left side. And it looks like he was able to go right back towards the, towards the window. Trying to time this out just a little bit while longer here is Star. Trying to see if they can close this out. Trying to see if maybe they can capture this a little bit here. Mike. Going to close in the gap little by little here, but Star is not making it easy for him. He said, listen, if you're going to have to get this elimination, you're going to have to earn it. Yeah, Mike really working hard for the kill. Star doing everything in his power to kite this out. He's doing a phenomenal job as Mike out of grapples is going to end up being able to pick up a few as TE Star going to be able to kite this out. Looks like he has broken the ankles of Mike. Mike going to do just a little bit of extra looting as Star needs to hold up in that zone if he does not want to get caught out here. So we are going to see DRG spawn purple dual blades in hand. So he's going to have a huge weapon advantage on a fat milk with the gray longsword. So you're going to see him come through with the Matari teleport into the 1.0. Is able to connect here. Goes for that F ability thrust from the ultimate. We're going to see the white, the blue armor swap coming out here from Wufang. Fat Milk able to pick up the purple armor and is going to go for a reset while DRG's Fung decides to come in onto the aggression, into the scale rush, into the 1.0, into the grapple bump. F ability going to come out to be able to block the follow-up damage from the grapple bump. But we are going to see Fung still hot in pursuit, looking to see where he's been kited out as Spider looks to join the mix as well. Blue dual blades in hand, purple armor for Spider is going to do a little bit of looting, but he does have a bounty on one of these players. So it's going to be a little bit easier for him to spot out some of his opponents. No alt zone is going to get popped. Fung is on Tessa, which is an interesting pick here 
that we saw, especially since he picked it while he had the opportunity to play a hero like Kylan. I believe he's already picked one of his Kylan, so he doesn't want to play that too much. And I believe he's picked Matari as well. Didn't want to invest a double pick here. Playing the Tesla in round three, very interesting play here, as uh, we are going to see him losing a decent amount of HP, is in that no ult zone, so he's not going to have the opportunity to place a Tessa charm on any one of these players, and it looks like Wu Fang knows that he's hopped outside of the no ult zone, so we are going to see the armor swap coming out from Wu Fang as well, or from Fung. Uh, we see the heal and the reset coming out, as uh, it looks like they are going to take themselves their separate ways. Fung joining back into the mix, Wu Fang. Two eliminations on the board already for Wufong as well, which is he is coming out of the gates hot every single game, picking up so many kills, doing the absolute best to put in as much work as possible. Spider here doing a little bit of extra looting, no eliminations, and he has been taken back to the soul altar already. Is this first Yang is going to spawn? This is where he's going to need to put some numbers up. He's going to cross paths with Mike here as they're going both deciding to go for this realm of Yang. All of these players are going to start converging on the portals to try and collect that coveted yang pass to be able to enter the realm of yang mike still only has the gray armor gray armor and blue weapon longsword putting in absolute work for him though throughout these games he has been able to do so much with the blue longsword was almost able to pick up a uh, couple of extra eliminations was only able to take the one kill TE star doing a great job of being able to kite out and break some ankles is uh we see JIS JL's AIS still in Sunwing's rest just hanging out up on the top area Frostivus as well purple dual halibirds and I believe he has picked up a kill already too Wolves Kai Bao no eliminations on the board is going to try and go for this realm of yang he needs to put a kill on the board winning this realm of yang would give him the confidence boost he needs to continue into this game Spider though is going to get caught out by the Tessa ultimate here is going to get himself charmed. It looks like Fong is just going to use this time to kite this out. He does have the Yang Pass in hand, does not need to engage into this fight. We are going to see Fong is going to get caught out into the 1.0 coming through from Spider. Spider's going to be able to come and claim this Yang Pass. As uh, it looks like the pass might drop, Fung was able to keep it together inside the zone, though. He doesn't really have the greatest ultimate to be able to kite out in this realm, but he does have F ability back online. Trying to go for the parry here, Spider with the 1-2. Same thing happening over and over again here. He was able to roll away, so he wasn't getting sent up too far into the sky. F ability getting popped here. 10 seconds left. That's all he needs to last. 10 seconds. He gets Spider with the ultimate here. Going to try and catch him into the Wind Wisp, but now there's only 2 seconds left. Is going to end up doing that follow-up damage and then just taking himself into this Realm of Yang for the fight. Full ultimate back, full F on regen as he's going to be fighting TE Star in the realm of Yang, as we're going to see ASE and Wolves entering in the second realm, and EWG versus Frostivus. I want to see Frostivus come away with the dub in this realm of Yang. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fang's going to take his time here towards this, but sadly, he was going to get some nice hits, though, from Star. Star, with those dual blades, he's going to try to see if he can capture the timing, though, but the stun is going to be able to hit them back a little bit here. It's Fang. Trying to see if maybe they can find a maneuver for it. Nice hits to be even connected from the spear, but sadly was not able to do an insane amount of damage here. As he does be able to deplete the rest of the shield with that cannon. Beautiful strike towards it, though. Trying to see if he can do a, uh, a little bit of a stun through the wall here. Kind of an interesting play coming in from Fong, and that's the beautiful thing about playing uh, when it comes to Fong playing. He's a very unpredictable player. His play style, absolutely phenomenal here as he does end up getting caught, though, by that stun. And it looks like here we go again. Let's try to see if maybe he can come through it with it. Ooh, dangerously low. This might be huge oh. for him, but it's not going to be enough as he does end up swiping him towards the end here. All he needed was maybe one to two more seconds for the finish of that depletion. Is able to get the strike down just good enough to be able to find it exactly the way he wants to here. And now let's see what he can do here as Frostivus. Our boy Frosty finally able to capture Let's the elimination go. against our second game winner, which is Arano. And we do see as well Wolves Kai Bao in the backhand picking up his first elimination of the day. One kill in three games. Not the best start, but he did get Vermillion's Burn Might. So we're going to see him play Hyper Aggro here. He does have a lot of ground to make up, but he won the Yang. We are going to see Arano, XY, and Fong on Yang depletion. This is some of our top players who are now going to be on the back foot, which is interesting to see, none the least, as we are going to see Fat Milk now is going to get hit by the Tiger Pounce into the follow-up damage here, but now able to get himself a Grey Armor Swap. We are going to see the L. LMB Pryo into 
the Tiger's Pounce and Slam again. We're going to see him try and go for the Scale Rush to finish off this elimination, but the 1-2 is going to come through. He does have that F2 available, does miss the shot on the F2, and now Fat Milk, 1 HP in a dream. All he needs to do is kite out here, and it looks like Mike has spotted him out. Fat Milk needs to run away quickly. He misses the grapple. No, Mike. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? We're going to see him being able to run away. Matari, one of those heroes that's just amazing at kiting, especially with her abilities, has so much movement buff. No ultimate available, but could have an F ability online if need be. We are seeing them kite out. Mike just desperate for this elimination, but he's missing grapple after grapple. So this could be an interesting one. He is catching up here. We are seeing that F ability now getting invested here. And we are going to flip over to Wolves Kai Bao as we wait XY on the back foot of this fight. XY, one of the players who is on Yang Depletion, needs to get an elimination quick here. We are going to see the RMB into the jumping LMB. As we see, uh, Fat Milk does get eliminated by OUG's Mike, but the Pryo is going to come through from XY into the jumping LMB, into the jumping LMB, into the jumping LMB again! Three consecutive jumping LMBs, and now Kaibao on the back foot here. We are going to see the ultimate getting invested, trying to kite that out as fast as possible, unable to make too much happen here, as uh, XY is going to end up going for a bit of a heal here. Little bit of a reset coming through, does cancel the ultimate. We do see Kaibao with full ultimate. LMB Pryo coming through. We are going to see the ultimate coming out again. Gets the Pryo again into the uppercut, into the jumping LMB, into the jumping LMB again. Only gets this two coming out here as we are going to see Pryo coming through again. But the F ability going to come out from both of these players into another jumping LMB. Tries to go for the overhold here. And one more hit, one more jumping LMB. But we are going to see Pryo coming out to Wolves Kaibao. Tries to go for a jumping LMB himself. We are going to see the fist blades reigning true though. It's Kaibao, one HP in a dream and the jumping LMB is going to steal the deal, taking himself back to a soul altar. He did have that Vermillion's Bird Might, but XY going to cure his Yang Depletion, put himself on the board for the game, and get himself a beautiful kill. And I know I said jumping LMB about 60 times, but that, it was what was going on, ladies and gentlemen. That was a crazy play coming through. Crazy counter here. Meanwhile, Wolves look like he's having a trouble with the counter as well here as Yuan Yuan coming in with that absolute aggression here. Oh, but I take it back. The uh, parry able to do a little bit of some damage here. Make him stumble just a little bit here as he's as forcing to pop the ult here. Wolves kind of out trying to see if he can find it. Nice connection towards that. He's able to capture him with the stun here. Nice juggle right towards it here. Really able to keep the same regression going. Here comes that gold blue, blue gold focus. It looks like he's going to take his time here waiting for it just in case the times it's connected. As it looks like both were able to connect it, but not as often here. Oh, he's able to capture him on the juggle here. Nice strike to be able to collide towards him. And still is going to be able to work towards it here as both of them are going to be within the stun here. He says, hey, why not do that? Let's not do that today. Beautiful stun towards that on both sides here. Wolves Kaibao wants to finish this off. 52 seconds left on the clock. He has time. The question is, who's going to connect it first? Oh, it looks oh. like cool. Kaibao is going to be able to do just that. That brief sigh of relief as he's like, whoo. Okay. I'm finally on the board. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Putting himself up his first elimination in the three games. He does end up getting eliminated outside of the Roaming Yang, but the same player he fought on the inside is now Frostivus being the target of Arano. Arano, the player who did lose to him in the Roaming Yang. Frostivus is without Yang to please, or is without Vermillions right now, though, so he could be in a bit of a, a bit of trouble. Huge parry we're going to see coming out now, but Frostivus is going to get eliminated off of this. Arano needs the Soul Bloom, though, is trying to pick up the kill. It looks like XY was able to come through. Jumping LMBs again, over and over again, is going to pick him up in the Liam ult to finish off the elimination. And ASE's XY putting on a clinic for us today here is going to pick himself up another Soul Bloom and some extra goodies as he's able to take out both Frostivus and Arano in the same go, stealing these kills away from these players as we're seeing Spider going to enter into that realm of Yang fighting against who knows who we are going to be seeing the temi coming up from spider this isn't his usual pick he's got no eliminations on the board so far it needs to pick up the pace if he wants to keep his numbers high but keep in mind ladies and gentlemen after these six games are done these players also have one more day to play as it uh, looks like nobody's going to be entering in the realm of yang here x1's wufang going to get a huge parry off onto axc's xy we're going to see another parry coming out here on to XY pairing Wufang the other way around as we are going to see the overhold coming through on the both of these players and Wufang just taking the brunt of so much damage into their RMB, into the jumping LMB, into a jumping LMB, the Hottie Ultimate invested now as we take to the skies and the boat shot! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen! He's playing a first-person shooter as we see the crazy bow shot, DRG's Fong versus OUG's Mike in the realm of Yang. Accuracy couldn't be any better here as he was able to do that just as much here. Now we're about to go right back to the realm of Yang here. 
for another fight as we see Fong and Mike going to be able to work towards fighting this out here. Let's see if they can keep that same momentum going here towards that shutout as Mike absolutely getting destroyed here by Fong here. But it looks like Fong trying to see if maybe he can capture the rotation and maybe see if he can continue. But not going to be able to do a lot here as Fong trying to see if he can capture the hits towards this. Blue focus on both strikes. Oh, Fong with a beautiful backup here. So that way the range between the fan does not actually connect. Beautiful duck and dodge here. Fong reading him like a book, but Mike is able to read it just a little bit faster here. It looks like he's going to be able to capture the strike. Captured with the juggle. Beautiful strike to be able to capture it. Oh, and here comes the Tiger for the final blow. Absolutely ridiculous. Beautiful, fi beautiful finish, though. Definitely did not give him the opportunity for him to even try to get close to even shut that out. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, nice dub coming in from him. Mike, yeah. back at it. Huge play coming up from Mike. Was able to read the Tesla Ultimate perfectly. Able to get himself a gold weapon, gold armor, white tiger's prowess, and he's ready for some more kills. Three eliminations on the board so far from Mike. Hasn't been able to come out with a dub just yet. We do see, it looks like Spider lost the Realm of Yang. Spider and Fung losing these Realm of Yangs as TE Star was able to take out Spider. As we now see the rematch outside of the realm here, we are going to see Star coming through with the Rampage Soul Jade on the Gold Hung Sword, dealing a lot of damage. The Overhold going to come through. Spider now trying to make something happen on the Temi is making it very difficult for him. The Overhold is going to come through, though. Star losing so much gold HP. Brings it back around with the 1.0 into the Rampage from TE Star here. The Rampage Jade just dealing so much damage. Now Spider forcing himself into a very bad position here. Tries to go for the parry into the LMB Pryo. Huge parry from Spider, but the F ability going to come out from Star, allowing him to keep the weapon. Ultimate coming out from Star. We're waiting to see the ultimate from Spider. He needs the ult, but gets caught in the Liam ultimate. And Spider getting eliminated by Star again. No Yang to please cure for him no eliminations on the board for this game and it looks like it's going to be just the placement points for spider today in this game number three te star picking up a beautiful elimination not allowing spider to use his temi ultimate to be able to kite the situation pops the lee ult, gets him in the silence and uses the follow-up to be able to complete the last amount of damage he needs to come through with the elimination now drg's funk on the back foot jl's ais trying to make something happen onto him as well bringing a huge parry come out from fung here so you're going to see the uppercut slash into the follow-up focus attack here from Bong, instead of the parry punish damage, as we're seeing a third party jump into the play here as well, it looks to be OUG's Mike with the White Tiger's prowess ready for the hunt. We are going to see him be able, AIS able to scale rush out and tap dodge through the Tessa ultimate. And now, Bong being the only Tessa in the lobby, everybody knows who is playing him. And now we can see Mike not giving up the pursuit, able to get the scale rush follow up damage into the F1, into the F from Bong. Mike investing that F2, but Fung answering with an F ability of his own to be able to get all of these targets off of his back. Now, Mike jumping into the mix. AIS coming through as well. We are seeing him try and kite around this area. This is a very, very kiteable spot, but it looks like so many of these players getting caught out. DRG's Fung able to hit a huge parry. Does have a dagger in hand, so we've seen Fung be able to kite out these situations before, especially on these buttery rocks. He is a pro at breaking ankles with the dagger. We're going to see the Tesla ultimate come out. Nobody getting hit with the Tesla ult here. F ability invested. Misses a parry here is going to be on the back foot trying to run away from every single player in the lobby who has his scent he is on yang depletion as well so he still needs an elimination and it's very difficult to happen when everyone's focused on you you want the attention to turn on to somebody else but nobody is going to give you the opportunity no one's going to give you the light of day everyone's got gold armor that's chasing him and gold weapons in hand as well bong in a very difficult situation is mike Spots him out. TE Star just waiting on the bottom side for him to appear here. The 1 2 doesn't let him go for the heal. Into a 1 2 again. F ability invested. Still has a little bit of timer left on the F. Gonna back out. Tries to go for another scale rush above. In and out of the zone. As he's taking a little bit of storm damage. Walking through here. Needs to get himself out of this situation. But no HP remaining. And it looks like ASC's XY gonna come through with a huge scale rush from the pull sword to come away with this elimination. Putting XY onto four kills. Wu Fang as well, one of the players that we thought was going to show a little bit more promise in this game, picking up two kills early, were the only two kills he put up and putting himself at a final game. In game number three is only going to pick up those two eliminations. As OUG Cheese Mike going to do a little bit of looting onto Fung's body here. Going to get himself a little bit of damage in the storm, but picking him up with some good resources as he's going to jump right back in. As all these players do end up seeing him, he does have the golden soul jade on those dual halibers. So Dragon-like Mike 
is going to be a huge, powerful ally for him coming into this game. As the 80% Bane is covering the zone, the Spirit Well is going to be Mystic Might. So a lot of these players aren't going to try and go for it. But the UAB buff, UAV buff and the Gold Armor Swap is something that these players still do covet. So we will see a few of these players going through as Might goes back to loot. With that as well here, Yuji Mike trying to see if he could do some, do some swapping, a little bit of shopping, chop till you drop. Okay, about same thing as well here. Trying to see if he could find some decent soul jades as well towards the next step. Trying to see if he could find the next base towards it. Is you want you want us to even go for the rotation here? Six alive, and we're only at game three. We're about to hit the halfway mark. Which is phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely crazy. These games are going by super fast. Usually Very we see fast. them taking a lot slower paced, but uh, everybody set the pace for aggressive today. As we see the Realm of Yang, or sorry, the Spirit Well start out to spawn. It's TE Star going to try and hold that with the Dragon Like. And we also see OUG's mic with the Dragon Like might as well. So both of these players having that gold soul jade gonna be able to take so much space here. It looks like TU Star is gonna claim this pretty easily. Not gonna go for any of the loot so far. He does have golden armor already. So anytime he's in trouble, he just heads back to that spot. Nobody else is allowed to touch that golden armor. You'll see if any other player tries to pick it up, it will not let them. And he's got Kaibao on the ropes here up against the wall. This is a very difficult position to be in. He's not able to kite out, tries to dash away, gets stuck on the wall. It's getting griefed by Terrain here, trying to go for a bit of a reset here. Gonna try and scale out, gets a bit of siphon off from hitting, I believe TE Star on the side there. Star does have that UAV Mystic Might buff available. Is gonna try and hit him with the dragon like Skybow now doing a good job at scaling is gonna get caught out though This is very difficult situation for him to be in as he keeps losing his footing on these buttery rocks and on the walls as uh, He's having a lot of trouble being able to find himself a good spot to heal up He is gonna be able to get one pot off here But full weakness in the zone is gonna make it very difficult to survive gonna use that F ability to kite out even more But ASC's XY hot on his tail gets one slash off on the pull sword gets the second gets the third and now TE star gonna come through with the rampage coming away and stealing the elimination putting himself onto five ASE's XY and TE star both battling it out to see who's gonna come out victorious in this game four kills for star or four kills for XY five kills for star three kills for Mike and zero for unique and AIS. Absolute fine here towards this is fine. Five players alive here as the Bane's Breath is absolutely putting in a lot of massive work here as it uh, looks like the cannon shot's going to be able to ricochet towards Yuan Yuan able to get some shield AIS and ends up getting hit though and he's in the middle of a fight between him and Star in between two different people. Oh, both of them end up getting sideswiped though. It looks like OUG's mic here. AS is able to actually find a hit too. Both of them just trying to see if they can ricochet this and get away. But it looks like a unique is going to get caught by some massive hits. So it looks like it's going to be from the dual blades as Star. Trying to see if he can not get caught up as Unique also. Same position, just trying to see if he can bow out of this as best as possible. Not the best look for him, though. Fourth to pop the ulti. Trying to see if he can escape towards this. Gets caught right in front of some massive logs. Not looking good for him, though. Looks like he might have had the free time to be able to get some free moment here for him to shield up. Oh, no. Oh, no. AIS gets hit by the Bane's Breath, though. Not looking good, though, because now he's caught on the chopping block. Or was that OUG's mic that actually ended up getting hit by it? It looks like they're still focusing on Unique, though. Unique dangerously low. This is the opportunity, though. though. And sadly, AIS is able to capture a good elimination off this mic. Gave Mike the chance for him to be able to, be able to separate himself from the rest of the pack. And is able to get uh, some shield and some heals here. Going to be able to replenish that. Be able to go back towards the next fight here. Meanwhile, he's able to find AIS up top. Not able to do a lot, though, as he ends up going shopping again. He's going to go back to shopping while you drop. Shopping while you drop. Yeah. AIS picking up his first elimination of the game was able to take Unique out. Unique going out in fifth place with only, with not a single kill on the board, but was still able to gain a little bit of placement points for himself. I believe that was a one point or a 0 0.5 on the placements as uh, AIS sending those repetitive cannon shots, but getting caught by a dragon like on the corner here. Doesn't want to throw the extent, full extent of the dragon like out because he doesn't want to get parried here. AIS trying to bring it back around is going to get himself a huge parry, but the F ability from Star is going to come in. Overhold going to connect from AIS onto TE Star. Star aggressive in the chase, though, wants this kill, but it looks like XY is going to go out to OUG's Mike. 
Now TE Star, the player to win it here as uh, Mike on four, X War Star on five, and uh, AIS here on one elimination, trying to make something happen with the last little bit of his Kylan ult, is going to be on that infinite mortality here. As uh, we do know, TE Star does have that gold armor swap in the back pocket right there for anyone who is wondering why there's just a gold armor sitting there and AIS not taking it. He is unable to come away with that. We're going to see the gray armor swap coming out, but the F2 coming through from Mike, able to deal a decent amount of stun and damage. AIS going to take back up to the skies here as uh, if Mike takes this, the 1v1 is going to be the deciding factor in who's going to win the game because they'll be tied on five kills apiece. And the sixth kill is going to go to whoever kills the other player ais is going to be the deciding factor for this if he gets two kills in a first place finish i believe he might surpass in the amount of points you get from the multiplier so uh that is still a possibility but mike giving so many shots through 69 74 percent on the ultimate now as uh if he's able to get his ultimate back up ais is in for a rude awakening of trouble here as te star waiting in the wings trying to see if he can make something happen gold pull sword in hand does have the ultimate online only player with ultimate available but these players are gaining rage back super fast this is immortal war you gain rage at quite a more rapid rate here as we are going to see the parry try and come through scale rush coming out from TE Star. Gold Pool Sword is just a very, very dangerous weapon to have. Especially, I believe he's got that blistering edge soul jade that you do see him charging up. Could send out a wave of hurt from the burn damage. We're seeing AIS try to go for the parry. We see the burn come out from the from the pool sword here. As we do see him sent both into the storm here. And he's picked TE Star, oh. picks up the elimination. And now he sends Mike out into the zone. And all he needs is one more blistering edge shot. The F ability sending him into the zone. Tiger Leap to try and make it back in. But he's one HP in a dream. All he has to do is hit one Liam ultimate. And he hit, uh, doesn't hit the first one here. And the one slash from the pull sword to seal the deal on the game. TE Star, seven kills and a first place finisher. He's going to get the multiplier. He's going to get the three points. Star, having an absolute tear, came into game two, was able to get the first place finished with one or two eliminations, I believe. And now he goes for the seven kill dub. Absolute insanity here. Uh, area two, at least near Mercury River and that pr primivial ridge. But it seems like everybody's going to be heading towards Sky Day's Glow. So this might be a quick fight, depending on how this goes. This, this, this might be a quick... This might be quick, not gonna lie to you. Let's see how this goes as we're about to lock it in for our game number four. Looks like Fung, Mike, and Spider all in this initial area all together here. Looks like we're gonna see the two players not spawning at the top are already going at it. Purple dual halberds for both of them, but purple armor on Kaiba is gonna give him a little bit of that armor advantage. We're gonna see XY trying to go for the heal here. Slap coming out from XY, double slap in back into trying to go for the one, two. Huge damage coming out from that slap. It just deals so much damage and you're not able to parry it. F1 coming out, F2, sorry, invested from XY here on the Matari, trying to go for that jump LFB. We see Wolves Kaiba hitting that one, two off. Doesn't have the combo break here. Now this is where XY is going to be in a bit of trouble. Gets the slap off and now needs to kite this out. But the uppercut from Kaibao is going to come in and secure him a kill. We're seeing OUG's Mike as well picking up a kill in the feed. On to BBE's Fat Mill. As uh, XY is going to end up heading to the soul altar. Wu Fang now in a bit of trouble. It looks like Fong going to pick up the kill with a beautiful bow shot. Scale rush coming in from WBG Spider into the jump LMB. DRG's Fung going to try and follow that up with a focused scale rush onto Spider. Spider going to counter grapple around to try and get that prio up. Fong just going to be using that spear to take space, staff to take space, sorry, into the charged attack from the 1 2. Mike going to be coming in as well. Longsword slash is coming up from Spider. Gets the LMB prio into the 1 2 here. And this is the danger of having F F1 on Justina. You're going to get that shield back, but as soon as you're out, you've got no combo breaking. You've got nowhere to go. Huge parry coming up from Mike here onto Spider. And this is the mirror matchup we've been waiting to see all day, ladies and gentlemen. Mike versus Spider into this fight. We're going to see the ultimate coming out from Spider. Now Mike investing that ult. We're going to see Spider able to connect. Mike now connecting into the follow-up. Spider in a dangerous spot here, losing a lot of HP, not getting that siphon back. Now bringing it back around one slash left. Mike still has that immortality possibility to proc here as a Spider is going to end up trying to kite this out. 
does not want to engage into this fight. Is going to get caught out, though. F ability going to be invested to be able to give himself some space. Spider 1 HP and a dream. Mike close behind, though. Gonna give off some super quick following. One pistol shot and it's all over for Spider right here as Mike could be taking this kill into this first game. Tries to go with the pistol shot and he gets the connect. Spider's gonna go down. What a beautiful shot from Mike to start this game off. And I want to see the face off in the Yang. I really hope it happens, Dobby. Yeah, we love the, the Yang face offs, especially when it comes to players like this. And we see them... Uh, pretty pretty regularly when it comes to these types of fights here. And obviously, it can get very hectic and very insane, uh, depending on like what we're kind of like going through in certain situations here. And just being able to like work towards that, let's see if maybe they can figure this out here as Arano is going to try to see if maybe he can clutch it up. Sadly, able to miss out on uh, the defensive clang when it comes to the uh, the parry here. Not able to find it as he misses it again, but is able to get a little bit more aggressive as Frost is dangerously low now, has to force the ulti here, so that way they can try to get some some common ground on the heels here, as it looks like he's going to continue to push off. Arano's going to continue to back off. Uh, doesn't necessarily want that much aggression on him, though, but it does give uh, Frost a, a quick shot to be able to reshield and get right back into the spice and it looks like he was able to just in the nick of time so that way Arano's gonna be, gonna be able to go for the reset sadly misses out on the tiger pull gets the gets the stun captures the finish on the hit here and now both of them are still trying to scramble it on with the blue and blue focuses they able to connect it at least two to three times frost was able to catch it three different moments here both of them <laughs> just trying to time it out just to try oh. to see oh, what it looks like Arano is gonna be the one that takes it and times it just well enough to get the finish. What a shot. The crouch cancels from the fan. Arano is so lucky, by the way. He got four armor swaps into that fight. He goes from a blue armor to a gray, then a gray armor to another gray, and then switches over to another blue armor at the end, making it is so incredibly difficult for Frostivus to find any footing into that fight. And he almost had it, if not for that last Liam charge of the ultimate on Arano was so close to coming away. They were mirroring each other's moves there, and it was the first person to connect. First person to either hit a parry or connect with that 1.0 was going to come away with the kill. And unfortunately, Frostivus getting sent to the Soul Altar as we're jumping in to this first Realm of Yang. We see that Vulpine Essence onto Kai Bao here, so giving him almost a guaranteed win in the Realm of Yang if he plays his card right here. Even if he goes dangerously low, he's going to have the opportunity to jump himself back into the game as we see TE Star taking use of some of the nifty gadgets that are around in Pradoria, using the Catapult to slingshot himself across the map, finding himself a little bit better positioning as it looks like OUG's Mike as well, getting ready to go into this Realm of Yang. And this is what I want to see, ladies and gentlemen, Mike and Spider facing off in the realm of yang both on the kylan could be the most impressive fight of the century kai bao here on the fist blades as well as mike blue fist blades in hand for the both of them but mike on a little bit of an armor deficit so he's gonna let kai bao have this realm of yang here but arano wanting to come in and contest as well we're gonna see them both going for the charge arano is on that fam we're gonna see arano picking up the yang pass snaking it out kai bao had that positioning for a while is gonna try and run Arano out of this circle to be able to pick up the pass for himself here. We're going to see him try and go for the charge attack into the jumping LMB into a charged LMB there or RMB, my mistake, as we are going to see them holding this side as uh, Kaibao trying to regain his footing. Looks like he is going to back off, try and see if he can take himself into another Yang portal, which it looks like where Mike backed off to. I believe it is pretty close by. He does have uh, about 40 seconds before this uh, fight does take place. It looks like Spider does have the Yang Pass here. This could be interesting. We want to see this Mike and Spider fight. I had so badly. 18 seconds left until this Yang Pass is going to unlock them a chance to jump into this realm of Yang here. Spider investing that ultimate with 10 seconds left here is going to just hold this space very well. Kylan ultimate, nobody wanting to put pressure onto that as he's going to be able to jump himself right in here in about two seconds, bringing himself into the Yang. Please be Mike. Please be Mike. Please be Mike. Please be Mike. Come on. Come on. All you got to do, put Mike in this realm of Yang. Not the prediction XY. that you want. It's XY. It's XY. Oh Sadly, my goodness. It is XY. So close. Sadly, so close. not able to get what you was looking for. You can't always get what you what want. You want. But you get it's what okay, you though. need. Beautiful singing voice, Dobby, by the way. As we're jumping into this, Wolves Kaibao is going to be on the hottie. I do believe that he is fighting against Arano. Liam Alt 
available. We are going to see the F ability coming out from the Liam right away. Tries to go for the parry. Is going to miss out here. Timing is going to go into Kaibao's favor here. Liam ult invested early here. Body ult still available for Kaibao. Doesn't want to get hit off of this first Liam charge here. We are going to see them both faking out using the movement from the... Oh, nice scale rush here. Using the movement from the fist blades to be able to gain some extra footing. Irano in a lot of trouble now. Is going to get himself caught out. F ability invested. Now the ult from Kaibao is going to come out here. Arano in a lot of trouble. We're going to see the one charge come out. We're going to see him using that ultimate ability to get himself a bit of a reset here. Going to get stunned off. Now taking to the skies again, Arano is not going to be able to get another pot off here. Has that last F ability invested and all he needs to do is one more charge. And there we go. Kaibao's on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, wins himself the Realm of Yangus. Spider and Mike both going to win their Realm of Yangus, giving themselves Vermillion's Bird Might, sending BBE's Fat Milk to the Soul Altar to try and get himself a revive as well. XY going to need to collect a Soul Bloom and cure that Yang depletion before the clock runs out. Yes. I mean, even with that, like towards that, you know, area here, you still have to be able to like kind of work towards that and just kind of be a little bit careful. But knowing that both of them still have their Vermillion's Bird Might here, obviously, it's going to get really hasty. And I think that's going to be very, very fun to see. Um, towards the end of all of this here, trying to take the time and working towards the next steps here. As we're going to be able to rotate towards this, let's see what the momentum can really bring for us here. As we're going to time it just well enough. Oh, what was that? I believe that was the Vulpine Essence. I'm not 100% sure if Kaiba decided to drop it outside so of fast. the realm of Yang. But I, uh, I believe it despawned. I'm not 100% sure of the interactions that come with the Vulpine Essence. Um, we'll take a quick look at that later. I'll ask some professionals and we'll get back to us as uh, some expert knowledge people in the, the Naraka community who uh, might know exactly the play that was going on here. Sometimes these uh, pro players have some secret tech that the uh, public doesn't know too much about here as uh, we are going to see Spider investing that Kylan ultimate Able to hit the first slash, goes with the follow-up here. Now, XY in a lot of trouble, is going to get eliminated, fully taken out of this game. But the Soul Bloom is going to go to AIS here, I believe. And now, Kylan Ultimate on the Immortality here. This could be dangerous for Spider. He's got one slash left. He's going to try and use it to get out of here. Tries to go for a parry. We're going to see the slash coming through into the clank. Now, Spider, in a very bad situation, connects with the F Thrust. That gold focus, huge damage coming out, dealing so much now mike on that immortality is going to try and take fat milk out of ultimate was able to do so but now mike in a lot of trouble here one hp in a dream unique is going to come away with the kill but fat milk able to cure his yang depletion as we are going to see him fighting gets the prio into the jump lmb here but the f ability going to be invested from fat milk to get out of here doesn't want to take the fight with unique right away knows unique has that kylan in the back pocket in case things get sticky for him arano now the only player to Try needs to cure his Yang depletion as XY was eliminated. Kai Bao now full force aggression onto DRG's Fung. Huge parry coming out here too. We are going to see him doesn't want to throw out, tries to bait out the F, doesn't know he's on the F1. So now he's going to get himself a little bit of shield back. Could have thrown that Nezra's Might from the Golden Spear to get that extra damage, but not knowing that the F1 was live for him was a little bit of a downfall there. So Kai Bao is going to end up backing out of this fight. We are going to see Frostivus waiting in the wings as well as JL's AIS and DRG's Fong. Kaibao does have 30 seconds left on this Vermilion's Bird Might, so he doesn't want to get too aggressive because if that Vermilion's Bird Might goes out in the fight and he's not going to survive, it could be very, very difficult for him. As the Ver Bird's Might is going to end, I think he might go and pick up that Bullpine Essence a second time. I believe he dropped it because if you use it for the Vermilions, it's kind of taking away the value. As uh, if you get that Mortal Defiance proc from the Vulpine Essence while you're in Vermilion's Burn Might, you have an extra life, so it's not worth it. So we're going to see him go into the storm, I believe, here to try and pick up that Vulpine Essence and do a little bit of shopping. I mean, still with that, though, still able there we to go. really read it out super well here as he's able to capture, he's able to get it and come back forward here. So he is going to be quite all right inside of this circle. Sadly, I can't say the same for Arano here, 40 seconds left on the clock. He has the time, the wall, and the player. And sadly, the player is definitely some player you do not want to go up against, and that is Spider here. And he definitely does not want to give him the free kill here, but sadly, he's put in enough, enough work here 
where it looks like Spider will be able to get the elimination unless, unless they end up uh, taking him out. Unless someone else gets the final uh, hit towards this as Arano just struggling a little bit while longer here as he is going to try to see if he can push forward towards this fight here. 13 seconds left on the clock for him though. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, and it's not even going to be enough time as Spider is going to be able to successfully get that elimination and get the finish. Does exactly what he needs to to shut down. What an insane finish towards this the one though, as it looks like Star is caught in a tough situation as well here. And Spider Aim is up actually taking a second elimination away too as well. Oh my goodness. Jeez, five Star. eliminations deep. Spider already on five kills, showing us exactly how crazy he can be when he dominates. He had a little bit of charge left on the ultimate. Instead of canceling and going for the reset, decides to go full aggro into a next fight here. So we are going to see the Rumble Yang popping off. The charge from X1's Wu Fang absolutely decimating the shield of Kai Bao, forcing the F out early here. As we are going to see Wu Fang now getting that trigger block here. Goes into the meter dump, into the grapple, into the 2 1 1, forcing the ultimate out early here. We are going to see the Jacino ult coming out now as he's going to take to the skies and heal losing so much of that ultimate charge because he has to go to the sky gets the grab into the meter dump misses the meter dump here huge parry coming out Wu fang bull by essence is going to come out and save him though here as we are going to see both justina dash charges have been utilized now and kaibao now in full ultimate does have that vulpine essence to be able to come back into this game but he's now in a lot of trouble use the vulpine essence up if he dies now he dies for real huge plays coming up from x ones Wu fang though did burn the ultimate is going to try and go into a full slash into the trigger nunchuck block into the meter dump again but the f1 is going to save him out here this guy about trying to go for the charge. Huge parry again! And X1's Wu Fang absolutely dominating Wolf's Kai Bao! Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. As Frostivus is going to come into this next row, but Yang, we are going to see him fighting off against the Justina here. Aiko's ultimate invested. This is definitely not the best matchup for Justina. Justina hoping to be able to fight against a hottie here. Into the 1-2-3, bringing it back around, forcing out that ultimate from Frostivus. Missing that first Tiger Pounce here isn't going to be able to connect. And that's the thing. If you're able to kite out the Tiger ult, it's very, very difficult to try and come back after you've used both of those Tiger Pounces. Now Frostivus able to kite out that ultimate, though, from the Justina. Tina is going to be able to get Pryo, but DRG Spunk popping that F2 ability. Going to try and heal in the face, popping that F1. Try to see if he can use anything else. Get some Pryo from his ultimate. Is going to be unable to, though, as DRG Spunk going to hit Pryo as well. Nunchuck Pryo going to come through into the 2 one Misses the 2 one here and goes into a charge 1.0 into the jumping LMB. And DRG Spunk is able to bring it back from absolutely nothing. Absolutely crazy play coming through. Frostivus going to be sent back to the Soul Altar for secure that Yang depletion. And BB is Fab Milk as well. Gone out 12 of 12 in the kill feed. Wow, absolute gorgeous finish here. Able to shut it down and do such a good job with it, though. Solid look, even with the amount that he was really able to conjure up here and really uh, was able to find here. He did a, fan, a phenomenal job, even with, the, even with the amount of timing that he had on him, though. Mm. Was able to read it in such a great way. And obviously really can show forth how well it is done. He's able to find it as well. Man. What a, what a solid game so far for some of these players, though. Able to do oh. such a phenomenal job here overall. 100%. Wolves Kai Bao putting on a show. Two eliminations on the pocket so far. Purple Armor is going to be available for him. Frostivus does need to get himself an elimination to cure that Yang depletion. It looks like he's focused his energy onto Unique, but it looks to be some of these players. It looks like both Fung and X1's Wu Fang. The players with the White Tiger's prowess are going to be close behind Unique, taking an armor swap, but losing so much of that armor already. Detonating rounds are going to stun him out here. So much damage coming through. He is going to focus attention onto Frostivis, trying to get those Kylan slashes off, but he's taking so much range damage from all these other players here. Does Frostivis needs to get that Soul Bloom? Is going to go into Immortality State here, so he does have unlimited slashes for a couple of seconds, but now he's in a lot of trouble. Uses that last slash, is going to come through. Very, very difficult. And we are going to see DRG's Fung come away with the elimination. I believe he picks up the Soul Bloom as well. This is going to be difficult now. Wolves Kai Bao needs a Bloom. And he does has utilized his whole ultimate. So this is going to be difficult for him. Frostivist still has ult available. And 3 minutes and 28 seconds left to cure this Yang depletion. No kills on the board for him so far. Kai Bao now getting hit with a 1.0 from the Katana off of the 
DRG's Fong's freeze, and now he's gonna bring it back in. X1's Wu Fang, the Justinas in the lobby are absolutely dominating right now. Fong and Wu Fang, the players on the double Justina pick, are gonna be able to come through and deal so much damage, picking up a lot of eliminations. And now Kaibao gonna force himself into the zone here as the cannon shots are raining in from AIS. All of these players have sensed the fear in Kaibao in this lobby, and Fong relentless in his attempt to come away with this kill. And it looks like Frostivus waiting in the wings as well. DRG's Fong able to pick it up and grab the bloom, putting Fong onto four eliminations on par with Mike, one away from kills matching with Spider. Two minutes and 41 seconds left for Frostivus, but Fong doing great in this late game, utilizing that White Tiger's prowess to pick up as many kills as possible. He's been able to pick up two so far while in this buff mode. X1's Wu Fang has lost the buff, but still has a super huge promise into this game. Trying to do a little bit of looting here. Doesn't want to get caught out too quickly. Knows that Fong is nearby because of that White Tiger's prowess fear that has been imbued onto him. I mean, he's taking his time with it too and also getting a really solid shutdown here. He's really been able to find his moments here when you know, things are really important in terms of really prioritizing those moments of execution, knowing that, you know, there's nobody really around. This seems like one of those few games, too, where, you know, haven't been seeing a whole lot of third parties. I, I feel like that's been such a prominent thing uh, with the last couple of uh, games here so far here. So this other one here, it just seems like everybody's just trying to maintain the priority that as long as there's not a lot of people around me, it's time to strike while the pot is hot. Uh, knowing that at any moment, anybody can really come through and really cause some problems. And, and just like that, you know, you could be on the chopping block and getting eliminated immediately, you know, and fast as possible. Oh, no. As Frostivus catches AIS slipping here, not really paying attention too much. Frostivus might actually take advantage of this potentially. As he ends up getting caught from outside of the rock here, ends up going up top, ends up finding AIS is in the middle of healing. Forcing him to force to come through towards this fight here. Oh, ends up casting him with the dagger here into a beautiful scale rush as we see the F1 coming out into the 1-2, trying to bring it back around. Does have velocity on those nunchucks. Going to be a huge damage jade coming through. We are seeing the ultimate getting invested from both of these players. Now, Frostivus only has a minute left. So we are going to see him try and go for those tiger leaps. Misses the first pounce, and this is where you're at a detriment. If you are not going to be able to make all of that damage come through from the alt, as we see both of these players doing an amazing job of kiting out that ultimate. Frostivus now in a very sticky situation. 45 seconds left. Needs a kill, but AIS is doing a beautiful job of kiting out, especially when you're trying to fight for that Yang a depletion you don't want to be fighting against a matari as soon as they get their abilities off of cooldown as soon as they have that ultimate available you are going to see them coming through with so much ability to get out of these fights you're going to see them try and come through clank after clank f1 invested from frostivus trying to follow through only has 21 seconds left trying as hardest to come away with this elimination but the f1 coming through into the uppercut into the lmb prio into the jump lb into the jump lb into the jump lb into the oh my goodness he almost hit the four p and there we go frostivus getting eliminated it takes his hands off the keyboard, calls it a day for game number four. No eliminations on the board, but he did get a 0.5 of that ranking point as we are going to see this coming through here. DRG's Fung does have... He does have the Golden Jade for the Dagger, is going to be able to deal a lot of damage with the Dreadful Whale. As we see Spider now is going to be in a sticky situation. Five kills on the board for him, but Wu Fang has got his number right now. The Counter Grapple going to come through into the... Uh, Pistol shot into the one uppercut here as we are going to see Wu Fang trying to go for the overhold. Spider going to use his F ability to get out of that. Pistol shot's trading back and forth. It looks like they're both going to go for a heal and then jump right back into it with each other. Spider not wanting this aggression as it looks like Mike is going to get eliminated here so fast oh. as AIS is able to take away the elimination from Fong right off the rip here. Is going to use that time to try and claim this spirit well he's able to just send these two players away from each other as ais is now getting focused on by Wu Fang. Wu Fang gonna just use the time to try and claim the spirit well now it's oh drg's fung gonna be able to claim that extra armor swap and get his ultimate back he invested it early so he needed to come away with that using that ability to be able to hold the f1 coming through strong i can't believe we're seeing f1 justina in NBPL, absolutely crazy. He's gonna get himself a little bit of damage by this 80% Bane here in a risky situation to keep holding in this Bane as uh, he is gonna try and scale away to see if he can do some damage with this White Tiger's prowess. This is definitely a, J uh, a buff 
and it's scary for these other players to face off against because if you're able to come away with an elimination you're dealing damages to every single player that's close to you you're giving stun giving away some prio and these players know how to capitalize on it we're gonna see spider now fighting against Wu Fang. f1 f2 invested for Wu Fang here as spider is gonna be giving chase now we saw this fight going off before and now the bane's breath gonna take away so much hp from Wu Fang. tries to go for the overhold but the one two three coming up from Spider, and now JL's AIS is going to sneak through and pick up his fifth elimination, coming through and getting an absolutely crazy kill here. The F1, again, coming through from DRG's Fung. I can't get over the fact that he's using F1, and AIS, with these thrusts from the Matari F2, was able to pick up the elimination that Spider had worked so hard to complete, and now with the gold nunchucks in hand, going to try and come through with Velocity. Trigger coming up from both of these players is going to be able to trigger that into the Velocity, into the 1-2. We're going to see him just go for a little bit of looting here as DRG's Fung now in a bit of trouble. Does have a gold armor swap somewhere, but isn't going to pop it. We're going to see the F1 coming out. Going to be able to heal himself up a little bit of that gold armor. Two spots of the gold armor, but a huge parry going to come out into an armor swap. Spider in a bad spot now, losing a lot of his armor could try and pick up the other one but the velocity untold from ais ais is on five eliminations the two on one is going to connect tries to go for the f2 into the uppercut oh my goodness fung on cooldown again is going to pick up the um, a little bit of healing here as his is going to have his ultimate too here going to pop that two charges available but is going to be able to get a little bit of a reset before anybody is going to spot them out ais on five fung on four spider on five this is absolutely crazy ladies and gentlemen i mean the timing though for especially like for when that moment happened here was actually really crucial for him um even if he had the confidence for it here to be able to try to secure that el elimination, it's still hard knowing that nobody really wants to get out of this, this early. And look how close, look how close it is, all right? We got two people tied for five eliminations and we have one for four eliminations. All it is, all it is is just one nice slash to be able to get this finish here. Or it could be a start for the third party in order for this to really be able to succeed for one of these players here. But it really is anybody's game in this final moment here. Spider taking his time here realizing what he has here, knowing that it's could, this could be his first dub of the night. And it's only game number four, knowing we still have two more games after this. It's going to be very, very hectic here to see where the placement goes here. As AIS sees where Fung is. They actually have lost out on most likely where Spider is. They might have a, a pretty good idea, but they still are just kind of like unbeknownst to what's going on here. Spider's going to have to force the, the move coming up a little bit more closer. And let's see if maybe they can like try to figure this out towards some of the other ones here. Since we love to see the timing start to come through just a little bit more here. Still going to be a little bit more timing towards this, but obviously not going to make it as desperate. Since all these players are so close in kill score, DRG on four, the other two on five, it really comes down to whoever gets this first place finish. It's going to come down to the wire. Every single player is so close. Even Fung and AIS in their total points on the day are exactly tied. Spider only 1.2 points ahead. So this is going to come down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this, the last man standing, is going to be the one to come out victorious unless we see AIS be the last one standing, but Spider get one elimination. The, the, it, the, the points are going to come down to the wire. Whoever gets the multiplier is going to be the one to reign victorious here as DRG's Funk trying to send some pistol shots out. All players with their ultimates back online, I'm pretty sure. The Kylan ultimate is available. The Matari ultimate is available. The Justina ultimate's available. And the F1 from Funk, if he's able to land that in the circle, not being able to get hit while these other two players start to go at it, this could be super crucial for him here. I I really want to see this F1 win because it, it's not a it's not an ability that we usually see happen. No health pots for Spider, and he's already at half HP. On the Kylan ult, that's going to be very, very difficult for him to succeed with, especially since Kylan ultimate uses so much of your HP we're going to see Fung using that F2, F1 already coming in. Spider taking away a little bit of his HP. The Nunchucks coming through. Assault Smolder as well could be very dangerous for Spider if he's not careful here. The ultimate is going to get invested now. He's got two slashes before the Immortality comes out. He does send them on to AS. He's sending AS into the circle. AS is going to be in a very difficult spot here. Spider, Spider! Fung gets the kill and Spider gets the kill onto AIS. But oh my goodness, Fung That's come away with six. They're going to be Fung with five, Spider with six. I believe Fung is going to win. Fung, yes, becomes yeah. the winner with the multiplier. F2, Justina F1.
for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, we thought it was absolutely crazy coming into the start of the game, running Justina F1 in a lobby where you need a combo break. I, mean, I, I really do feel like if, you know, those two players end up locking in, I feel like we're going to have a solid game on our hands and I feel like we're going to get a new winner um, out of this one for game number five. So close yeah. to the end here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping we're going to see a new winner here. We haven't seen anybody go for the back-to-back -back MVPs in this game. Nobody has hit a double MVP on the day either. No three-peats like we see sometimes. We see a few players decide they just want to take it and run away with it. But here we're going to take a look. The first fight we're going to be seeing popping off, it's going to be Fat Milk for X versus XY here. F ability is available for both of them. Invested from Fat Milk as now we're going to see Mike jumping into the mix. XY looks like he's going to just try and kite this out here. Doesn't want to engage too quickly. Mike has that bell available, so he's going to be able to see exactly where XY is going to go. We're going to see that blue armor swap coming out here. Huge parry coming out, though. XY going to deal a lot of damage. Mike forced to pop that F ability to be able to get out of that damage. The overhold from XY is going to come through Fat Milk, trying to make something happen on the overhold of his own. Mike now switching over to a gray armor, but it's not fully completed. This is, this is going to make it very difficult for him. See how difficult it is going to be here as Mike decides to back off this, but he ends up getting caught with a parry. Ends up catching a little bit of some fly here to be able to get out of the way here. Definitely catching himself in a tough situation here, but let's see if they take the timing just a little bit better here as Mike is going to dip out and play his situation just a little bit better towards this. Oh, it looks like he's going to hide just a little bit. His file milk is going to find him. He's going to catch him inside of the corner here, and this is not one of those good corners that he needs to be in here. As luckily, since he has that dagger, he is able to be able to get himself in a disposition where he can be able to dip out. And he does get caught up in a tough situation here. We are going to see OUG's Mike being able to kite this out. It looks like everybody going for the reset. As we do see Fong get eliminated in the kill feed there. We don't know too much about what's going on on that side. The jumping LMB from Mike, not the best idea here. As XY was able to come away with a lot of damage. Mike forcing that F out from XY as well. No F of his own. Able to get the jumping LMB from the uppercut into a train of jumping LMBs there. Absolutely crazy. Gets the overhold Woo! onto XY. Picks up the elimination there, but Fat Milk is going to get overholded onto now. The gold focus forcing Kaiba to back off. Going to try and go for the follow up damage, though. Now, Mike forcing himself to pop that ultimate as well as Wolf's Kaiba is going to try and give chase and Fat Milk in the air vicinity as well. Had that ultimate invested, tried to send it out onto Mike, did end up missing his shot. We are going to see him try and pop it again. Is going to catch Mike out, but is able to dodge out of the damage, not getting that siphon. Ultimate is going to get canceled here as Fat Milk's ult getting offline as well. But now we are going to see Wolves Kaibao in the wings. Going to try and see if he can come away with a huge third party into this fight. Overhold is going to come out. Fat Milk getting huge parry. F invested from Kaibao to avoid the parry damage. We are going to see Mike getting focused up onto now huge parry coming out from mike fat milk is going to get eliminated soul bloom is going to get picked up by mike giving him a bit of heal we are going to see that f coming out from the ultimate of kaibao now whoever gets prio kaibao getting prio first here but mike has that ultimate available to come back again into this fight now kaibao on the back foot trying to run away mike all he needs to do is send a slash out here we are going to see him get countered absolutely beautiful counter here coming out from kaibao needs to get this last little bit of damage off but mike able to find himself a ridge to be able to avoid the follow-up damage gonna hop onto the ballista tower he's gonna be able to kite this around pretty easily decides to move away from the tower quickly here but ase's xy gonna come in for a crazy third party doesn't see it coming the f ability getting invested to avoid the follow-up damage from kaibao jumping lmb gonna come through into a aerial attack as we are gonna see him try and scale up with the grapples here follows through with the grapples into a jumping lmb we're gonna see the parries come out trying to go for the lmb prio right the overhold into the freeze as we are gonna see the follow-up coming through from the lmb of kaibao onto the fist blades able to get a huge focus attack only one justina dash left is on that v1 so isn't gonna get that guaranteed freeze as we see that is a bit of detriment to all of these players so far when they try to run the justina v1 they're not able to get those guaranteed freezes these pro players are doing such a good job of being able to kite out here as kaiba hungry for this kill has gotten all of his eliminations stolen oh my goodness xy missing the follow-up damage from the freeze there is going to be in a bit of trouble now no alt online for either of them as he gets the freeze but isn't able to follow up, falls a little bit too low here, pops the bell to see where Kai Bao is, and it looks like he might re-engage onto this, but he does not have a soul. Kai Bao does. He's able to take the risk of going into this fight and taking himself back to the soul altar, whereas XY is in a lot of trouble if he loses. Meanwhile, it looks like Wolf's Kai Bao deciding to opt out of not fighting with uh, 
with Yuan Yuan here. As Yuan Yuan is on his uh, try number two, so he has to be a little bit more careful. Meanwhile, Wolfong is going to be able to catch Arano in a beautiful parry here. It looks like he was trying to see if he could predict the timing for Arano here, but sadly not going to be able to do it here. As now he's dangerously low, caught in between a third party. Ends up getting caught here. Oh, Wolfong ends up getting thrown out. The question is, does he have enough range? No! He doesn't have enough range. He's getting caught in the pistol as JL's AIS ends up catching that elimination and gets the finish. Oh, man. What an absolute finish towards that. Irano is trying to, trying to get that finish towards that as well here. Able to do what he needs to. Sadly, he was able to get the Tiger Strike here. And now he's just going to end up getting pulled here. Sadly, Spider ends up getting elimination onto Fat Milk. And Fat Milk is out of game number five already. Meanwhile, AIS is going to be able to catch it airborne here as he's going to try to see if he can get some strikes. Caught inside of the flower here. The nice little blooming spout here. But it looks like Arano's gonna get caught here from a flying. A flying pretty boy. Ziza are trying to see if he can rotate this around. But here comes Arano trying to see if he can do much movement, but not enough. As DRG is gonna catch him in a tough situation and ends up getting 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 getting, getting eliminated. Fong coming through with a beautiful elimination here as we're going to see Frost of Us getting dangerously low and now they're going to take to the skies and take to the Kylan Slash. Oh my goodness, Spider! Oh my goodness. One HP in a dream right now. Frost of Us looking to go for the reset instead of taking this fight. Looks like they're going to try and bring this back around though. Spider looking to get aggro on this fight. No revive available, but Spider was on one HP almost coming through. The spacing a little bit off here. Ultimate now offline for Spider, as Spider gonna take so much damage here, gonna try and just race for this realm, as it looks like Frostivus is gonna be able to jump in. Looks like he wants to get the elimination onto Spider, but as Spider backs off far enough for Alliance, is Frostivus to just enter the realm of Yang. He was so close to taking out a huge contender, and you wonder at that point, is the play to follow, or is the play to just go into the Yang and not give up your spot? You want to be able to go for that loot. Having that purple armor and that golden weapon is so much more valuable than picking up one single elimination and then not having a buff. So he is going to try and go for the Yang fight. Does lose out on getting a huge kill onto Spiders. We're going to take a look. Wolf's Kai Bao now fighting against JL's AIS. Purple fan just dealing so much damage. Able to come over with the overhold. Does come away with the damage. Kaibao now forced to pop that ultimate. As we are going to see the fist blades dealing some huge damage. We are going to see Kaibao able to get that siphon off into the prio from the one two. But Kaibao extremely low in HP. Going to be very difficult for him to come out of this as AIS just one double charge from the haughty ult is going to take him out of this game as ASE's XY is going to get the kill onto Unique and Frostivus kills Mike in the realm of Yang. Oh my goodness. Haughty versus the Kylan. Kylan is going to come out on top as Frost of his picks up an elimination in the realm of Yang. My boy Frost, absolutely incredible here. As AIS, Gold Katana in hand, was able to take the elimination onto the Hottie. Hottie seems to be beating Liam a little bit, but we're going to take a look now over at the Spirit Well. Mike on Yang Depletion does need to come away with this elimination. Looks like they're going to let him take this Spirit Well. As he gets the purple armor and decides to back off, doesn't want to fight AIS. He wants to try and find somebody who doesn't have Vermillions to come away with an elimination onto. There are two other players who have Yang Depletion. He's hoping to spot those players out because they've got nothing to lose and they'll fully engage into a fight instead of kiting it out at the last second here. Mike trying to see if he can make something happen, see if he can find Wolf's Kai Bao, or see if he can find... 5-2-1's unique in this game, and they'll be able to face off to try and cure their Yang Depletion. See if they can get that same Yang depletion going hard here towards that. So they're going to try to see if they can work towards it here. Meanwhile, Fung is leading the pack with three eliminations so far and a lot of twos from Yuan, AIS, Mike, and Frosty. Meanwhile, trailing behind that will be Wolfung with that one elimination, but he is in a lead with that 21.7 here. So obviously a good place to be so far here as Mike is going to be able to fight this out. Frost is sadly going to be able to miss out on all of the strikes here, all the dodges. Oh, it's not looking good for him. Mike is reading them like a book. Frosty forced to pop the ulti here, just using nothing but rage, timing, and roaring ability, trying to see if maybe he can connect it, but sadly not going to be able to do it. Oh, wait! Oh, I almost thought he was about to do it again. Whoa, I almost thought he almost saved it again. Frost of it's not go. looking good for him, though, as he ends up getting chased here towards this, but he is depleting some of that shield here as he wants some of that energy as AIS is able to cast the elimination onto Frost of his here, sadly, but he does have that Yang. He, he does have that Yang, so it's all right, though, as he ends up going back to the start and he ends up catching it, trying to see if maybe he can work towards it for the next one. Unfortunate. 
as we did see though huge parry coming up from ais sap damage gonna come through dealing a lot mike was able to cure his yang depletion but spider is gonna come through with a huge scale rush to come away with the elimination as we saw ais trying to come through with the kill as well spider doing some absolute work ais was able to snipe the kill away from mike but mike picking up the soul bloom curing his yang depletion but getting eliminated not even two seconds later by spider with a beautiful scale rush huge parry coming in here kai bao now fighting against unique and these two players are also fighting it out to cure their yang depletion we see the hottie or the liam versus the akos we're gonna see him try and go for that lmb prio isn't gonna be able to connect off of that though we are gonna see him bring a round into the dash quickly into a focus attack f ability coming out unique now very very low in HP, we're going to see him pop the Liam ultimate to be able to try and come through with some sort of damage. The timer is running down on the Liam ult. He's able to throw that last charge out. And as soon as he gets that last charge, he's going to be able to connect. Oh, but doesn't secure the kill right away. But the one, two comes away, cures his Yang depletion and sends Unique packing with a zero point game again for Unique. And DRG's Fong gets completely eliminated as well. This is absolute madness, ladies and gentlemen. Fong with four kills picked up the first place spot, beating Wu Fong by 0.3 points in the overall standings, but is going to go out early here as the second realm of Yang is yet to spawn. X1 Wu Fang still in the game. OUG's Mike is eliminated. Kai Bao still in the game. Everything is turned on its head. Frostivus and Kai Bao down on the bottom here. We're seeing XY, AIS, Spider, Wu Fang, and I believe EWG Zorano still holding pace very, very well into this game as we're going to be flipping to the second realm of Yang getting started. We don't get to see Mike versus Spider, sadly. Hopefully, it'll we'll get one in the last game. Everybody clamoring for that Yang pass. It looks like Spider going to take his interest elsewhere as we jump in to this second Realm of Yang fight. Absolutely. What a finish towards this, though, as uh, the Realm of Yang is definitely going to gonna be a deciding factor on how the rest of the game goes for some of these players here. Let's see if they can make that same... that same momentum happen here. Let's see if they can get the shutdown here. Maybe try to see if they can figure this out here. Kaibao able to use his staff to be able to give himself some spacing. Spider not going to be able to take that Yang pass away from Kaibao. He's doing a great job of holding on, but Spider does have ultimate available. Kaibao is not ultimate online yet. Eight seconds left, though. It's going to be hard for him to gain his footing back with only eight seconds on the clock. So you're going to see him jumping into this realm of Yang very quickly here. Going to be the first one in fighting against Frostivus. Kaibao versus Frost. This is going to be an interesting one. We're seeing... Kaibao is on the Liam. Frostivus is on the Kylan. Kylan has traditionally come out on top in all of these Realm of Yang fights. Uh, so hopefully Frost will be able to make something crazy happen here. As uh, we want to see exactly what Kaibao is going to be doing. He does have that jabbing available on the staff. Going to try and go for a parry. The overhold is going to connect, though, into the overhead slam. Jabbing going to come out here. We are seeing it happening. He's now going to try and adjust his parry timing to avoid that. We're going to see them both going for a quick reset here, getting themselves back up to full HP. Kaibao does have that advanced heal available, so he's going to be able to gain passive HP gain from one single armor pot. The scale rush comes out from the pull sword. Bringing that gold pull sword out is going to be very dangerous if he gets parried here. We're going to see the stone form coming out, going into a scale rush, back into it. Huge parry going to come out though, is going to bring out that jabbing coming back in. Now, Kylan ultimate invested. We're going to see the Liam ultimate coming out pretty soon here, as there we go. Liam ultimate going to get invested. We're going to see it very difficult for Kaibao to be able to come out on top now, but he's able to proc the immortality quickly here. And now one more slash and Frostivus is going to be the winner. And Kaibao getting sent to the soul altar to cure his Yang depletion. Going to be very difficult for him to try and come out. Kylan ultimate just too strong. Able to push through the Liam ultimate and deal so much damage. Now, Hottie versus Akos. Hottie Tay usually wins these fights here. As we see, he misses the Tiger Dash. AIS going to go for a little bit of a heal right in the face of Arano. Going to prevent the heal from Arano. Ooh, beautiful dodge of, a, of the ultimate there as we are going to see him come through. Losing ultimates now. There's 50 seconds left on the clock. They both don't have ults. They're going to have to rely on their F abilities and their, their abilities to fight with their weapons. Gold 
Gold Staff versus Golden Hong Sword. We're seeing the combo potential from both of these weapons is immense. They're both trying to go for these scale rush, clanking off of each other. 38 seconds left in this fight. Otherwise, they both go down. Nobody making a huge play yet here. Somebody needs to do something fast. F ability invested now for AIS. Huge scale rush going to come through, but the overhold comes out from AIS, able to get the damage into the uppercut combo, into the grapple bump, but the spacing on the top sends him too high in the sky. The Pryo coming out into the 2-1-1, and Arado oh. able to get the shot from the musket. AIS with one HP and a dream now is gonna be very difficult. F ability back online for him. He needs to kite out eight more seconds if he wants to be able to survive this. AIS trying to run away, but the jump LMB and Arano takes it. Arano holding so strong towards that. That really could have been anybody's game towards that final towards that final fight here. But obviously, time is of the essence, and Arano was able to take advantage of that entirely towards this and ends up getting that White Tiger's prowess, which is going to be such a huge advantage for him here inside of this realm of Yang. Meanwhile, for AIS, the time is ticking and the time starts now. Three minutes, 45 seconds left on the clock. And he immediately gets to hunting as he looks for Wolves Kai Bao. It looks like he's going to try to see if maybe he can capture it. As Wolves definitely knows the desperation is there. And it's very clear he doesn't really want the smoke here. He wants to try to separate and make sure to lose as much time as possible from AIS here. Knowing that he is playing for desperation here. As he ends up catching some nice hits though. The blue focus trying to see if he can connect some. Wolves is able to connect some. But the reset coming through from AIS is able to do well. But he comes back a little too early. And ends up getting caught inside of the combo towards the end of that fight. Meanwhile, AIS trying to see if maybe he can fold strong towards that. Knowing that another player is nearby here. Rossovic is used this as an advantage here to maybe capture something here. But he's able to get a nice hit though towards that to maybe connect it. Oh no. Ends up going through with the juggle. Ends up having enough time to go for a quick reset here. Wolves Kai Bao trying to see if he can find it here. Ends up catching for the stun. Pops open the ulti. Catches up within it. And obviously making that so much harder as Frost of his captures the elimination onto Kai Bao. And sadly, AIS is not able to come through. He ends up backing up and able to go through with the heals, which means he still does not have a Soul Bloom Essence in order for him to be able to keep the game alive for himself here. It's going to be really tough for him. Yeah, we are going to see him now running into the spirit well that was captured by EWG's Arano as uh, now Frostivus facing off against JL's AIS was trying to come through with a third party, was able to pick up the kill onto Kaibao, but wasn't able to pick up the kill onto AIS. He was able to get away, tied it out with the Hottie ultimate here. And now we're seeing these three players, Arano, Frostivus, and AIS all in the same vicinity here. Trying to go for the scale rush is going to try and pick up this kill because AIS still needs a kill. He didn't get the bloom from getting the uh, Kaibao because uh, Frostivus was able to just come through and pick it up. It would have been too dangerous for him to try and take the soul bloom, giving Frostivus another opportunity opportunity to come away and steal a kill and now frost is just holding outside this zone wants to come through with a huge slash from the bull sword almost completes the damage there three minutes left on this yang depletion 63 percent back on the ultimate frost is looking very good right now too four eliminations on the board for him so far and if he's able to kill get this third party which it looks like he has backed off of pretty significantly and now he's back in the mix there is on top of the building, knows JL's AIS is right underneath here. They're looking for that hottie. Believe it is the only hottie left in the game. Our spider is also playing on the hottie as everybody sending their range shots now, taking his attention onto XY. He needs to get a kill, no matter who it is. He's going to focus his attention onto whoever's closest to him, as we're going to see the, oh my goodness, the grapple bump coming through and the overhead slam. Justina using two dashes already, bringing him around, freezing him up, and who gets the kill? It's X1's Wufang coming in. No Yang depletion players left in the game, so these fights are going to start getting a little bit less aggressive, but everybody's seeing that XY has taken a lot of damage, but Wu Fang deciding to come through and absolutely dominate here. Arano might find him out. Oh my goodness, XY just broke ankles. He just broke serious absolutely ankles. Absolutely just cracked some ankles and just said, all right, I'm out, I'll see you later. You're gonna absolutely, I mean, just the way that he was able to do it with the style and able to put it together here. Like, we knew he was able to to put it together here towards, like, the next steps here, but obviously was able to do what he needs to towards that. Oh, no! He ends up finding him inside of the bush here. Oh, no! Spider ends up finding you one and ends up catching the elimination! Oh, no! XY, my boy! Oh, he almost no. broke the ankles, but I'm pretty sure Spider knew he was there. I think he had the bounty on him. So the scale rush coming through, the F ability was just a little bit late. 
and he wasn't able to uh, prevent most of the damage that was coming through. Lucky, he prevented the follow-up and was able to survive for a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, he still came out eliminated here as Arano going to be using that merciless havoc to try and prevent anybody else from trying to come in and capture this spirit well here he wants it for himself it looks like some of these players are going to try and come in and contest him because the buff will be highly coveted by these other players he pops the ultimate now as he does get it it is only mystic mike so that's why we don't see these other players getting super ferocious for the attack here as now he's focused his attention onto frost of his frost of his not wanting to have any of this smoke here it's not the best situation to be in tries to pop the f but the tiger follow-ups is going to be crazy we're going to see him forcing the f ultimate out now too we're going to see them both trying to kite out each other's ults but the tiger bounce is going to come through frost of his no you were having such a good game my boy this is the worst position you want to get put in here frost of his just getting sharked out by all of these players now Forcing the alt out early. This is not some ways you want to be. No, Frost, my boy. Getting sharked out. It's so unlucky uh, he gets seen first. Huge parry coming out, though, from Frost. Is going to have that Rampage Jade to come through as well. EWG Zorano just full chase onto Frostivis. Just saw the Kylan. Said, no, I do not want any more Kylans coming in and ruining my game on Akos here. We're going to see the Scale Rush trying to get away here. He's able to do it. For a pretty good amount of time. Tries to go for the parry onto X1's Wufang. Needs to kite out here, though. He is in a very, very sticky situation. And this is going to be very difficult for him to try and come through here. All of these players trying to chase for the kill. Making it a little bit easier for Frostmist to escape here. But no ultimate available. No F available. Going to get parried. Oh, but the other parry is going to come in and save Frostmist from almost certain death here. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Frostivus, Frostivus. one HP in a dream. No. Shuman, but Wufang, no. Oh, my goodness. Frostivus having such uh. a good game, but X1 Wufang answered right on the other side of the corner, said, ha-ha, I see you. Uh, You're going to be dead. He's going to go back and pick up his purple armor. Tried to go for the gold armor swap, but all these players are not going to let him get away with the gold armor that easily here as EWG Zorano still giving chase. Oh. WBG Spider, there's only three players left in this lobby here. Two kills and three kills for the other players here as we are going to see Spider trying to make something happen onto Rano ends up backing off here. They are in the 80% bait, so this is going to be very difficult for these players to play out as the game progresses. Circle 5 closing on to Circle 6 with only three players left. We've got a couple minutes left in this game. And it's actually unfortunate here. As he rounded that corner, literally, Wufang was just like, hey, what's up? How you doing? How you, you like doing? Your car's extended warranty. Like, that's just really tough to, like, see that, like, towards the very end here as he's, like, trying to rotate. He's like, okay, maybe I have a free moment here to try to find it here, but Obviously, is not able to find it. And he's able to at least be able to rotate and run towards it here as Arano is going to get absolutely juggled in the air here. Wufong trying to see if he can find it. Oh my goodness, ends up getting shoved from outside of the circle. Sadly, was not able to get a lit, nice hit from the dagger. Are those fish? Those are fish. That's the uh, the new dual blade skin, the uh, the crying I fish. I didn't even notice that those are fish. I was like, hey, oh, those fish he's got in his hand? Wait a minute. You get slapped with a fish. You you get absolutely dumpstered on by the fish dual blades, man. They, they are a heavy hitting weapon and getting slapped with a fish skin. It's just, it just adds to the factor of like, damn, I really just got beat up with fish. Three players left. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. Arano, Spider, and Wu Fang. Gold armor, gold weapons for everybody. Purple armor for Wufang, but gold armor for everybody else. Spider taking a decent bit of damage. Liam, Hottie, and Akos. All of the Kylans have been taken out of this lobby, and now Wufang getting focused on as he is the one with the purple armor. But Spider trying to take the attention off of him. He is the one with the least amount of health in the lobby. Now Wufang taking a decent amount of damage from these cannon shots here, trying to kite around with the dagger, but making it difficult for the rest of this team. Nobody wants the Liam in the final circle. Akos versus Hottie is going to be a difficult one, but Akos versus Liam, or Hottie versus Liam. The Liam is going to come away victorious. O Ultimate invested now into the cancel. Tries to go for the parry. Spider attempted it, but was unsuccessful as he is going to use that ability from the Ultimate just to get himself at least one pot. And he used it to kite himself out here. Does have one more ability. Gonna catch Spider in it, getting himself a little bit of siphon, but the F1, F2, my mistake, from the Hottie ultimate is going to save Spider. Wufang attention completely taken off of him now as these two players start to go at it down on the bottom side. They have the low ground. Wufang's got the high ground now as uh, we are going to see him try and enter into the mix with these bow shots coming through here. The overhold from the dual blades is going to come up the scale rush. 
Now, Spider trying to give chase. Low on HP, does have Storm Stride, so he's going to be able to deal some stagger damage and a little bit of a white health damage to these players that are trying to fight around him. He's going to make it a little bit more difficult for these other players. F and Be abilities invested from both of these players. Now, Spider taking to the skies is going to go for a bit of a reset here instead of opting to play aggressive with his ult. Is going to just back off. Probably going to cancel it here as uh, he wants to keep a little bit of rage available. Nope, he's going on the full offensive here. Trying to hit Arano, but the, the dodges to the side from all of these players is going to end up bringing it around with the F ability. Perfectly timed for Wufang. No ult available now for Spider. He's in a tough spot. Arano, the only person with ult available right now, but these players are going to gain enough rage back. Wufang is probably going to have his ultimate back. A minute and 48 seconds left into this game, and then we're going to decide ourselves a winner here. If nobody gets kills and it goes to a three-way tie, we are going to see a couple of these players tying for first place as they have the exact same amount of eliminations. Arano now the only one on the back but huge berry coming through. Spider is going to take the brunt of that damage, getting pushed out into the circle. Now Wu Fang trying to pick up the damage, and it's going to be who's going to come away with the kill. And it looks like Wu Fang picks up the elimination. Morano tried to snipe it away. Four eliminations for Wu Fang, almost guaranteeing him the placement on to this fight brings out the tiger ultimate great job of kiting out these pounces he's got one of two charges left and then he's got his ultimate back online wufang gonna pop that out arano sending that tiger pounce gonna send him right into the circle here we are gonna see him getting that siphon off as well trying to go into the one two back liam ultimate available we are gonna see that tiger ultimate is gonna send him just back into the zone as we see the Tiger Pounce, great kiting out, great usage of the ultimate here. We're going to see that F ability come out now, and whoever comes away victorious, but oh my goodness, the shove into the zone. Arano picks up his third elimination, and I believe he steals the MVP, and that's the second time EWG's Arano is going to be MVP here. Right oh under goodness, X1's Arano. Wufang's nose. Oh my goodness, Dobby. Absolutely insane here. Wow. Spider, yet again, on the other side of Celestia, near Sunveil, dwelling by himself. He's going to focus on mainly uh, prioritizing, getting that decent loot, at least having a solid start, and then being able to captivate for the rest of uh, for the rest of the game here. I really hope for him to actually be able to pop off and really get something good for him. I know he's been somewhat struggling, so let's see what he can do in his final game. Meanwhile, Star, and it looks like Mike might be potentially fighting this off, but let's see let's see technically what happens here towards, towards the final, though. Oh, a lot of momentum. Whole lot of work towards that as Mike ends up actually getting juggled, thrown, and slammed through different sections here. Beautiful combo to be able to connect it. The question is, can he keep that same energy throughout the rest of it here? Let's see if they can follow through with it as Star trying to see if he can juggle through it and missing, dodging some of those moments here with the Numchucks. Numchucks not able to do a lot of damage, but Star is even to put in a lot of damage though. And here comes a third party coming in from Wolf's Kaibao here. Could be very lethal and dangerous depending on what's going on here. Wolf's Kaibao is going to force him to be able to move out and dip out. Don't want to get them caught up in a tough situation here as now Mike. Mike caught in the worst situation possible here. He's trying to shut her up through three different people. And oh, here we go. As Rosimus comes through as the fourth party and ends up actually sealing the elimination away as well here. You couldn't time it any other way as Frost of it starts to fly. He's going to try to see if he can be able to connect it potentially. Star ends up going through with the Frosty, trying to see if he can not get caught up. Wolves ends up throwing him and spinning him. Oh, they're both flying. It's like two hawks outside in the, in the straight up desert. It looks like they're finally able to get some food and they're eating. Meanwhile, Frost is caught in a tough situation here. Oh my goodness, he gets absolutely thrown here by the ulti. Wolfong also dangerously low down below in the middle of a fight with Arano. Arano actually ends up getting the elimination as well here. This is not looking good here as Arano could potentially clean this up as well. Frostbits gets two, and it looks like he's dangerously low. Now he's caught on the chopping block, but no, he ends up getting stunned actually. He gets free. The worst situation possible for him to be in, and Arano ends up catching a second elimination as well towards this. This is a phenomenal game so far. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute crazy game. Frostivis is going to get hit by a parry here. Could be ending his Reign of Terror right off the rip. Tries to go for the pickup on those dual halibirds, but isn't going to be able to come away with it. Tries to go for the second time to pick those up. Is going to just end up having to go for those pull sword scale rushes here. You're going to see the one two come through, but Frostivis' Reign of Terror is going to get ended right quickly. He does have those two eliminations under his belt, so it's a really great early game for Frostivis so far. Was able to pick up two kills. Going to be sent back to the soul altar. Going to try and go and scale up and jump back in for the Roma gang. We are going to see he, him being an absolute menace on the hottie. Is DRG's Fong here now in a bit of trouble? Going to get the elimination. Yes, he's XY playing that absolutely perfect. Catching Fong in the wisp 
and now is going to try and get fat milk the exact same way here as now xy gonna just back up for a little bit replenish his weapons try and see if he can get the kill now onto fat milk the client gonna come through first Trying to get that LMB prio off to be able to go for the uppercut combo into the grapple extension. We are going to see it happen, but the F ability from Fat Milk going to come out. Tessa Charm, I believe, is available for him. So he does have the opportunity to throw that out. We're going to see the LMB prio come through into the grapple bump. Terrain might be a bit rough here, but he's able to use it to his advantage into the jump LMBs. Kites out the ultimate and XY with a beautiful weave, duck, and dodge to come up with his second elimination on the board. Was able to take out Fong. Now he takes out Fat Milk. Beautiful third party from him here. As now, we are going to see him trying to keep and continue the play. Kaibao, no eliminations on the board, but he's got those purple fist blades in hand. He's going to try and find himself some blue or purple armor and get himself back into this game as he goes to the Realm of Yang. Spider, no kills on the board either. Does have his resurrection available. It looks like he is playing this game a little bit slower than he's used to. As uh, we usually see him jumping right out of the gate. Rostovis on two eliminations, though. That's something you want to watch out for. He had a really great early game, but jumping in to try and get the kill onto Arano was his downfall there. He made the mistake of trying to jump back in without full HP, gets himself parried, loses his light attackable weapon, has to switch to the pull sword and is on the defensive. Arano was able to clean up that kill so cleanly. And unfortunately for Frostivus, he wasn't able to make too much of it there as the 1 2 was able to come through and absolutely decimate. EWG Zerano, though, was fighting against 5 2 1s unique as well. We'll see if he's able to pick up any more eliminations onto the game. Frostivus back in it was able to take a gold zone completely by himself there. Hopefully, he's got a little bit better scale coming through as we see Fong, Kaibao, Arano, and Wu Fang all on the one Yang portal. So these players are going to start to disperse and try and head to another portal. It looks like Frostivus on the hottie might not want to take the Yang. We'll see how it happens, though, as these players are going to start rotating pretty soon to these Yang portals. And uh, Frostivus might want to steer clear of it just in case he does run into a Kylan in the Yang, and it's going to be very, very difficult. Kaibao getting himself some good stack here. Did use his revive, but now he's found purple dual halberds and purple fist blades to be able to get himself a decent stack with the blue armor. And Fong, gray spear in hand, or gray fan in hand, but blue armor. So he could try and go for the Yang, but it could be a little bit more difficult for him. Mike, with a decent stack as well, is going to be looking to win this Realm Yang to get some purple armor and some gold weapons. As the Yang is going to drop, the passes are going to get invested here as uh, Kaibao now is going to opt for the reset, and Spider going to be able to take the Yang for himself. Looks like even with that, though, still going to be able to rotate it towards it and see kind of what they can do here. Spider is going to be able to, looks like he's going to be able to go inside. Oh, it looks like he has a free space here. To go downwards towards the bottom here. Actually, a really good observation here. And it looks like let's see if they're going to be able to rotate in with this next step here. As, oh, Yuan Yuan ends up catching some uh, some heat, though, from the bullets. Oh, man. Oh, I actually thought he missed out on the stun here, but Sally wasn't able to. Oh, my goodness. The stun ends up catching him floating, gives him enough time to be able to take himself away from the stun right in front of him. That's low-key disrespectful. I ain't going to lie. That's a little disrespectful. Extremely here as he's stone form locking him into bow shot, into stone form lock, into bow shot, still dealing so much damage on the fat milk. Yeah, the absolute disrespect here coming up from XY as this Yang is about to start dropping. XY, they're able to pick up some fireflies. If you notice, you saw them twinkling there. The first realm of Yang is going to go from AIS Kaibao. We're going to see Mike and EWG Zorano and Spider. Spider facing off against. Frostivus. This is going to be an interesting one. I think Spider's going to take it, but I really hope Frostivus comes out victorious as we're taking a look now. Kaibao versus AIS. Kylan, usually the winners of these Realm of Yangs, especially against the Akos Ultimate, is going to be very difficult for him to try and survive here. Akos Ult invested. First Slash is going to get kited out here, but the Tiger Slime is going to connect. AIS on the front foot of this fight, actually, and usually we see this going the other way around. Kaibao able to connect with one slash, gets the second one, gets the follow up on that. We are going to see him go for three. Is he able to hit four? Trying to kite around the tiger pounce. Is going to get hit with the pounce here. This could be lethal for him. And Kaibao gets eliminated. The favorite to win is going to be in trouble. Now, Spider in a bit of trouble against a Kylan ultimate of his own. Spider 
I'm gonna try and take out Frostivus with the Kylan ult, and this is where it's gonna be difficult. Ultimate is down though. Frostivus is in a good position to try and win this. Pull sword versus Fan. Fan is usually gonna take this in these scenarios. Cannon shots coming out, and whoever gets this charge attack is gonna win. Spider switching over to the Hong Sword, switching over to the muskets. He's gonna try and go for a bit of a reset. Frostivus needs to get this reset off, but he isn't gonna let him. Oh my goodness, is Frostivus gonna get Pryo? Scale is going to come out here. Frost of it's going to get caught out. F1 ability invested, but F available as well for Spider. Spider on the front foot of this. No, Frost, you misplayed this. Oh my goodness, gets the F1. But, oh, Frost of his. Frost of his, he didn't go for the reset. He went for the cannon replenish, and Spider was able to come out on top. He was so close. He guided out the alt. He did everything right, and he still didn't win. Oh my goodness, Frost. Unfortunate. Sometimes the timing is 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 really really tough and you know sometimes like people are just very very much locked in and 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 to where it's really hard to try to conjugate that as well here as fong just trying to see if he can uh, rotate this out mr wolfang trying so hard here to be able to clutch this up he's so close all he needs to do is get oh no he doesn't get a juggle oh that would have been a bad that would have been a bad combo though if he was able to capture him that close towards the end here as wolfang now has to try to see if maybe he can conjure this up just a little while longer. Fang was finally able to get a little bit of some heals here. Taking his time to do what he needs to here. We love to see what they did. Mike, AIS, and Spider. All of the Vermilion teams. All of the players who won their Realm of Yangs. AIS going to get a super huge parry. Spider investing that F1 to be able to prevent any damage coming before him. The ultimate is going to get invested, though, from Spider coming out. He's able to get the slashes onto both players. And now AIS so low. Spider coming out with the elimination. And now Mike on the back foot here. Kylan ultimate is just so powerful. Both of these players will get themselves a soul back to the altar as they do have vermilion's bird might and spider as the ultimate goes down he doesn't have another chance and now the scale rushes are going to come through and he's just trying to get that one hit of damage but mike oh my goodness it's popped the poison mushrooms and now all he has to do is wait as mike goes down to the poison beautiful play from spider so smart to be able to make that happen by the way here huge parry coming out ais now full investment full invested in the ultimate though spider almost has his ultimate back so if he does the, a good job of kiting this, he's going to be able to answer back with an ultimate of his own right away here. As we are going to see, the Kylan ult couldn't come back online at any moment now. We are going to see it get invested pretty soon as we do see the poison splash coming out, affecting both players here. But Spider does have Vermilion's Birdmite, so he's not too worried about dying here if it does come down to that, as he does have the Immortality proc now and AIS getting dangerously low here. But Mike going to start comboing Spider, letting AIS get away here. Not 100% sure how optimal you gonna see him later to on. let AOIS, but you're said, seeing him back. On. Spider going to take himself to his soul altar. He did have the Vermilion's Bird Might proc'd, so he is going to be able to remain into this game now. Frost of his need this kill onto Wu Fang. A minute and 50 seconds left. Going to pop the ultimate here to try and get the soul bloom. Gets the kill. So close to coming away with the elimination onto Wu Fang here. One HP and a dream. He needs one slash to come through and he gets the kill. Is he gonna get the bloom? He gets the bloom and he uses the ult to get out Frostivus. He doesn't get the elimination. Wu Fang is actually the one to come away with the kill, but Frostivus is able to get the bloom. And that's all that matters, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna go to this end game and he's gonna come out on top. Absolutely insane here. As it looks like Yuan Yuan is gonna find if he could do some stuff as well here. Let's see if he can work towards this as well. Let's see if they can work towards it here, just to try to see maybe if they can do something else towards it. Looks like OUG's mic is going to be sitting up top here on top and just trying to see if maybe that's a good spot to actually hide if people are kind of wondering where you're at. If you're taking a look, this is second Realm of Yang. We usually see at least 10 players Damn alive point. here. There's only eight players left in this game. It's going to be a solid ending game here, I think, though. It's still going to be like maybe top four, I think. Towards oh, the yeah. Ending. Yeah, we're going to see these players who are going to win the Yang, going to come out on top. And then the players who are losing Yang are going to force themselves to find kills. So we're going to see them go down, which means two players are going to be eliminated. We're going to go down to six. 
And then the third parties off of that are going to probably bring us down to either four or three. And now Mike getting a lot of damage taken out onto him here. Going to force himself back in with the ultimate. But he has one chance left to get back into this. And he might get sharked out here. He might get sharked out before he makes it in, but he does. With on the very last breath, he's able to make it into the realm of Yang. Come on, Spider. Come on, Spider. Jump into the Yang, Spider. Jump into the Yang, please. So All high. I've been wanting is to see Mike and Spider fight. DRG's Fung versus ASE's XY. So we're jumping in. Huge parry coming out. But the F able to keep himself into this game here. But he's able to get the LMB prior into the grapple, into the continuance, into the ultimate from the Temi here. Blocking him with Wind Wisps here. Trying to go for the overhold here is going to end up getting caught out but he's win with stealing so much damage actually drg's fun doing a beautiful job at kiting out this temi ultimate here pistol shots are going to come through using that liam alt to be able to stay away from the temi he's doing a perfect job of countering here well he was able to get a heal pot off before he gets grapple bumped out of the way here as we are going to see the bow shots coming through as well drg's fun trying to send the pistol shots as well camera's turning so fast as xy trying to make something happen the grapple bump combo extension coming through as well f ability available for xy trying to go in with the scale rush into the lmb prio but is isn't able to connect jumps back up over for the scale rush but the scale rush from fong is going to come out first fong with a fan is always going to be victorious here tries to bring it back around into the focus attack into a follow-up light attack drg's fong hey. does come away victorious absolute insanity coming through here oug's mike is going to take out he is star in the realm of Yang is it looks like Spider was not able to make it in. Sadly, I was really hoping to see our Mike versus Spider realm of Yang battle, which we haven't gotten in six games. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, ends killed. up leaving immediately just to be welcomed by our Bane's breath right in the front. Hello. That's not the type of welcoming you want to go after winning a... After winning a, a realm of Yang. That's definitely what you don't want to witness towards that as well. As it looks like now, it's still going to be able to rotate towards this one here and tries to be able to done it towards it. Trying to see what it can, can he make of it here as Fong and Mike trying to see if they can take the time towards this to try to see if maybe they can work towards it. Oh, Mike. And then we're getting caught by Spider here. This is the fight you've been wanting for. This, yeah, this, the fight I've been fight. gunning for the whole game. You have been gunning for this fight here between Spider and Mike. It's definitely one of the things that a lot of people are mass massively fans of here. As it looks like both of them trying to see if they can go for the parry. Sadly, one of them tries to see if they can go for the musket shot here. It looks like the connection is going to be doing well, but Mike ends up getting sent and shots ends up ringing right towards him here. Let's see if they're going to keep that same energy here. Spider caught in a tough situation here. Same thing with the third party coming in from another player. And it looks like that's going to be Fung as well. Just being the nice little nuisance we know him to be sometimes inside of these games. That little third party little rat. And he's not even really ratting. I'm being honest with you. As we see Spike Spider, he's going to be absolutely sending it so far out and away from everything. Meanwhile, all of them are going to be rotating up top here, trying to see if they we can work towards it. Let's see if they can keep that same energy. You on, you on. Oh, Dangerously unique. low, sadly, was not able to actually complete the finish of that elimination. Unique actually comes through very last second and steals it. But we do see him pick up the Soul Bloom, which is all he really needs at this point. He still has five eliminations. So at that point, he's just trying to keep that survivability going and pick up the Soul Bloom Essence to continue his fight into this game. But now Spider in a bit of a tough spot here, getting caught by the Liam ultimate. DRG's Fung hitting him with the Scale Rush. Mike coming through with the Scale Rushes of his own. Spider in a very tough spot right now. I believe he is the only Kylan left in the lobby. So getting him out this early would be super helpful as they are both playing Liam, I believe. Liam is going to be on Fong and on Mike. So they, these players want the Kylan out of there as fast as possible. It's going to take to the zone to just try and kite this out here, gain a little bit of a reset. Mike, ferocious into the fight here, is going to try and bring this fight into the zone here. As we do see the 1.0 get released, Spider's able to dodge out of that. And Fong now going to try and go for the chase, letting Mike back into the zone we are going to see spider just taking this to the outside of the zone fung not wanting to chase this it's not worth it to go this deep into the zone and spider he knows he's in a little bit of a tough spot here he's gonna have to rotate really far around one heal pot left weakness at full escalation so if he even uses that pot he's not going to gain very much as he's going to take him so far away 
He has two grapples left. He's going to run into Frost. Frost is going to pick up the kill and he's going to rain victorious. He needs to get out of the zone. Oh my goodness, Spider, you're playing with fire here. He's got one heal pot left and he's able to kite out, breaking the ankles of everybody. Oh he just did a cross country voyage. <laughs> he just took the entire cross country voyage is so storm. accurate. He just went from coast to coast in the storm got himself a reset and is back in this game absolutely insane and gorgeous shutdown here a spider was able to get away that didn't want to get caught up in a tough situation here and i was able to do it in just the nick of time and just like that was able to cash her that forward and says see you later buddy what a great moment here just to be able to work towards it here does a fantastic job worth and Mike is back in the game. Same thing as we're going to go back and look at the replays here inside the realm of Yang of what Mike won the realm of Yang here. Nice, nice hits to be able to cont contend it. Here comes the blue focus trying to see as the ulti comes out from Star here. Let's see if uh, Mike was able to prevent Star from ever using his ulti there as Mike ends up popping the ulti here. Trying to see if he can cause some issues here. And he ends up trying to see if he can get him close with the blue focus. Not able to really capture much here as it looks like. Uh, oh, there he is. Is he finally was able to get a grab here? Not able to do too much here. A little bit of a healing pod towards the side here. Ends up catching him with the juggle. Star able to go for a quick reset here. Didn't have enough time to be able to go for the reshield though. And he ends up trying to time it right here. And he ends up walking him with the finish. Beautiful time. To be able to see him all throughout that. Four eliminations deep. Mike could finally get his first MVP in this final game of the night. Putting him against the wall. He gets Star up against the wall to be able to hit that full carousel, getting that extended amount of damage. And then he hits the grapple bump into the confirmed 1.0 vertical attack on the longsword. It's a play that's really hard to pull off, but they're being able to get that prio. It's just absolutely so difficult, especially for a Justina to be able to come away victorious in that style of fight against the Liam, being able to stun you out for so long, giving you that so much opportunity to gain that priority in your neutral fights. As uh, OUG's Mike now getting a few pistol shots. They want to take the Liams out. This is where it's going to come out. It is Mystic Might on this buff here, so not a lot of these players are going to be trying to go for it. We're seeing a few players entering in the mix, but uh, it's going to be mostly for the ultimate. Getting that UAV buff is going to be coveted by some of these players, but it's not as important to gain as some of these other buffs like the White Tiger's prowess. It's WBG Spider now taking so much damage. He's able to hit two players with his ultimate, gaining himself back a lot of siphon. He's able to line this up right. He's going to be able to hit more than just two players. He's now on a great armor swap. He needs this. He needs this. If he doesn't get this spirit well, he's going to be a completely messed up for the rest of his pacing in this game, but he is going to get very, very low as uh, he is trying to come away with it. Spider getting absolutely demolished, and ASE's XY is going to be able to come away with the elimination, and DRG's Fong looks to almost capture this spirit well here, as Frostivus was able to come through and deal a lot of damage, but wasn't able to finish off the kill. Two eliminations on the board for Frostivus. Would have been nice if he was able to put up a third here. DRG's Fong going to be the one to come away with the gold nunchucks, gold armor swap available to only him for the next five minutes. And then a couple of soul jades he's deciding not to pick up, though. As we're jumping over to the other side of the map, it looks like these players have given their focus on to Alliance's Frostivus. As we're jumping over to the other side, Mike deciding to pick up whatever Fong dropped. Frostivus now full HP. All of these players full HP and just going to try and kite this out as fast as possible. We've got six players left jumping into the game. The Yang Depletion players have gone out. Unique now. Oh my goodness. Dropping all the health jades to be able to give himself a little bit more HP faster here. And it looks like Frostivus, my boy. Why are we targeting Frostivus? Like, there's so many other players in the game. I guess he's the lone hottie. He's easier to target than all of the other Liams coming into this game. He is going to be sought out and sought after. Going to try and surf the Bane here. A little bit of a dangerous move. Ultimate is going to come offline for him, though, as he is getting focused on by DRG's Fong. They just have it out for him, man. It's like, you're not allowed to be the Chinese champion because you're already the NA and SEA champion. Uh, Frostiv is doing such a good job, though, at keeping up with these players here. He is proving exactly why he deserves to be on this stage alongside all of these other players. Oh, my goodness, no. The Bane is going to grief his movement here he took a risk but ase's xy in the background as well taking a lot of damage getting demolished 
by I believe 521's Unique and now the ultimate coming out from DRG's Fung is going to make it even more difficult for Frostivus to kite out of here as they take to the cave. Frostivus just trying to kite for his life. Finds a blue armor swap. This is a good position for him to be in but he gets hit with the oh no. He's getting hit. He needs to heal that up fast otherwise he's going to be in trouble. He does heal it up. We are going to see it happen here but he has one second left on that cooldown and it is just terrible positioning to be in here. He needs that F ability. He gets oh, a huge double parry. Oh, beautiful he double it back parry. Around, but the poison clouds are going to be too much. And Fung takes the elimination. And they just focus the hottie out of this lobby as he's the lone hottie remaining in one of the main factors. They are scared of having to try and deal with that hottie, which is why they're taking him out. XY on six kills. OUG's Mike on four. Fung on three. AS on one. Unique still in the game, surprisingly, on one elimination here as we're jumping in. Five players left, three minutes and 49 seconds left in the game. Circle five closing on to circle six in our final game number six. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a wild one. See what happens here towards this final fight here. As it looks like Unique is going to be falling all the way down here. I mean, this is a solid a top five here. You on, you on, AIS, Fung, Mike. I feel like it's going to be Yuan Yuan that ends up winning this, but I don't honestly want to jinx it, which I feel like I probably just did. Meanwhile, Yuan Yuan, oh no! Yuan Yuan ends up getting hit by the Bane's breath here. Oh, walks into another! Oh, Eugene, Mike finds two! Oh my goodness, for both Bane's breath, the damage is absolutely lethal for both of these. Oh no, he ends up finding another one! That's so tough here, as Unique is going to be able to try to see if he can find a player. He ends up getting caught by one of them there, which is really unfortunate here. Here they can rotate towards the next one here, trying to see if he can find the next step towards it here. Do what he needs to. If you take the same format, be able to run with that. Unique, trying to see if they can run then back off. That has to be a little bit more careful. Timing of it is very, very, very hectic towards the final run through of this. See if they can figure this out as unique is just trying to stay alive here as he's getting pelted by cannon shots from Fang Fung just being a nice little thorn on top of him here. Absolutely making it rough for him to be able to do what he needs to is Fung. Also continuing to keep that same energy here as we see three players with per with gold shield. And we have one with that purple. This is going to be a really good fight towards the end here as the circle is slowly starting to close in. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have been enjoying the last five, uh, six games, the Rocket Blade Point for our solo games here. Very, very interesting set of uh, Ws for certain players here. Rano with two dubs so far um, in his game today. Um, Wufong was able to capture a dub himself. Um, definitely some decent games. Star, didn't Star catch, catch two? Win. Star Star got himself a second place, and then he did get himself an MVP as well. He got one he able MVP. to come through. He got one MVP, and then he had a like two kill uh, he was the last man standing, but his points didn't give him enough to be the MVP for the game here. So we are going to be taking a look. XY does have that advanced heal. In, in the late game, it's super, super crucial. If you have that advanced heal, you're going to gain a huge advantage over these other players. Get one pot, you're going to gain so much more value out of giving yourself health and shield. It'll heal up over time meaning you can pop one heal and get out of a fight, and you're still going to be gaining shield or HP. Mike here needs to heal up quick. He's in a very tough spot. Unique raining cannon fire down from above, holding on to that last little bit of high ground. JL's AIS holding on to that strategic low ground, as we like to call it here on the Naraka Blade Point channel. Fong sending the cannon shots. Everybody's got their cannons out here. Nobody letting anybody breathe for even just a second. AS is going to start to climb away. 40 seconds left on the game. This is where the ultimates are going to start to get popped. We haven't seen a crazy endgame like this in a while here. All the endgames have been pretty short-lived. And we're going to see the Tessa Charms coming out, taking over Fung and XY. As the uh, Charms are going to start to come out, the F1 coming through from the ultimate of the Liams here and XY just trying to hold himself into this circle. Unique getting brought dangerously low here. Mike taking the kill onto Unique. XY trying to make something happen, holding everybody out in the circle. Mike, Mike, and Mike. Oh my goodness, does he get them all? As it goes six seconds left and DRG's Fung, the last man standing, but Mike picked up three or four kills at that ending there. XY was getting close, but I believe Fung is going to be labeled the winner. Wow, the one Liam ultimate.
holding them in the storm and then proccing the F at the last second to be able to deal the damage and gain the siphon coming through, picking up so many eliminations at the end. Mike having one good game finally near the end was able to pop off to his full extent.